バッパパッパはいこんばんはノーテンクケイドンツイビーチューバーヤトノハクヤです Good evening it is I your son Raven ヤトノハクヤ Hey guys how's it going Hello there Doc Hello there Anje Hello there strongest soldier Um yeah Anje you always seem so excited for these early streams Um does this time work better for you? It's like, I guess usually I stream at 6 p.m. Pacific, but this is like four hours earlier. Like, does this, this is work for you? I usually don't stream on this hour because, well, I feel like if I were to stream at this time during the weekdays, that people might not come. Though, maybe I'll get new folks who that time works better for. Hmm. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, um. Last time was kind of crazy. Um, you know, I thought I could be normal. I thought I could be normal again, but then I, I've, I've retired my lore schizo、uh, brain for such a long time, for, for years. And I thought I was on the path to recovery. And then they drop whatever the heck that was. Yu Zong drops the thing on us, he drops Venom, the symbiotes on us, and I'm just like, <gasps> This changes everything. Why? What? Uh, everything I knew is wrong. Everything I knew is false. I have to rewrite all of my internal lore. All of my crackpot theories. All of my, you know, like my pin board with all the red strings everywhere.、Uh, showing correlation. Ah! <laughs> Everything has to be redone. This is crazy.、Uh, I can't be normal anymore. I can't be normal. I'm back to being a lore schizo. Oh, oh, dear goodness. W what am I supposed to do? Oh, oh my goodness. This is. I I'm back. I'm back. I'm back in the swamp. Mo. Koi story no. なんかセオリーを考えてるとか昔はすっごくオタクっぽいってやってたんやってたけどまあまあ数年前はもうこ,こんなオタクっぽいの活動はやめたと思った卒業したと思ってたのにこのゲームをやってたらまた沼に吸い込まれてるもうもうオタクの生活戻ってきた大変うん Hello there doc hello hello man I'm being swallowed by the swamp again I've, I've fallen back into the lore schizo rabbit hole、oh, I can't go back to being normal I'm sorry, guys. But, like, maybe you enjoy me like this. You en maybe you enjoy seeing Yatsuno Hakia being a crazy person. Mo. Come there, stay on. Shock ka uke sugi teru. Hmm. Ma. You know, today we're gonna join the、um, Tassa Divers. And we're going to.、Uh, apparently, the end of this chapter,、uh, chapter 2 7, is really hard. Really hard. Apparently, it's like the wall. It is considered the wall in this game. I'm going to prove to you guys that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a true gamer. You know, 2 7 is going to be a piece of cake for me. Not even a problem. <laughs> Being a lore schizo is based. I'm not, I know. <laughs> I'm not a lore schizo, Dalao. Please. Please, I just want to be normal. I just want to have a normal life. Why do you sound so sus in Japanese? I, no, I think that's just your brain is projecting, Anjay, okay? I think your brain is just projecting. I'm not sus. Um, But yeah,、uh, let's, let's actually、uh, go where we left off. Challenge? No. I'm not that crazy. I can do challenge on my own time.、Um, but for you guys, I think I'm going to play normal mode just so we don't have. Just so we don't spend forever on the missions, I want to get into the story with you guys.
I love being a dollar star Ferrari, which <laughs> said jokingly my Pontiac Fiero. <laughs> After saving Mendo, Jeff did cleverly circumvented the bridge's guards and reached the refugee transport station. Disguised as refugees, they crushed the soldiers from the checkpoint alongside the dolls from the Global Rescue Foundation and successfully avoided capture. Drawing on his past experience with Tassa, Mendo successfully disarmed the traps set up by his comrades along the way, and they finally reunited with Tassa before Javon deported. Jephti tried to persuade Tassa to help her rescue her sister. Oh, so that's really loud. Um, but her keen intuition quickly told her that Javon planned to take her away by force. Subsequently, she began contemplating a new strategy in secret. Yeah, the bombshell! The bombshell that we learned. You know, we learned that Liga is not actually Jeff D's sister. Liga is a clone. She's... She's like a clone, like... Like one of the, the things, you know, the, the creature from The Thing? She's one of those. She's one of the clones. Oh, that's, she's not, she's not one of the uh, alien hybrids. She's a clone of one. Oh. The sudden sound of gunfire indicated that URNC forces had located the backup safe house. Javon decided to lead everyone to escape into the mine, utilizing the rail car to evacuate in advance. Wait, Doc, no! At least lurk, you piece of shit! Give me the views! <laughs> At least have me on in the background, you piece of shit! <laughs> I've yet to play it myself. All right, let's see. Where do we go from here? What can we upgrade? Oh yeah, I should have done some practice training off, off uh, screen, off, off stream. Let's see. Let's see. We want this one actually. If the unit has not moved, she'll have plus one range. That is very good. We want this. We like this. Oh hey, ultimate skill A nucleo base has reached 100%. Declaration of Miracle has been upgraded. Let's see, what do we have now? Damage is increased by 15 and evasion by 15 in accuracy. So she can dodge now. All right, and Mendo, what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, having the turrets have better accuracy. Yeah. So a lot of the enemies can dodge really well now. Alright. His ultimate's also been upgraded. Let's see, let's see. Fully restore HP of all units. Okay, when if turrets aren't destroyed, they gain extra HP. They fully heal. I don't think that's used particularly great though. Gene enhancement available. Tenacity, reduce damage taken from the next hit by 60%. I think tenacity is probably one of those skills we want to just keep on using since it's so cheap for Atena, but this taunt move should is also really good. But we also we also want to get return to sender eventually. Let's see. And for Javon, what can we give you? I guess we'll just spend it. Uh, hmm. Assault tactics? Increase accuracy. I don't think that's a such a big deal for you, Javon. 
Can we upgrade the guns? We can. We can upgrade the guns again. Well, it looks like... Javon's Orca and Atena's OSK are already upgraded. Hmm. So we can either... What's this? Oh, we can give her a compensator. Okay. Increase the crit rate. And we can upgrade the Python. Um, I wonder if they ever covered genetic enhancement in lore. Oh yeah, they do cover it. Um, according to uh, um, Codename Bakery Girls, um, all of the Antarctic people are genetically enhanced. Men and they all have um, baseline resistance to collapse radiation. They've all been enhanced with um, resistance to radiation. And you know, Jefty's whole thing is that she's just a step away from being a test tube baby. Probably want to get the stun grenade. I have a feeling we're going to need to use it. They all have big bosses genes. Mm, plenty of grenades. I didn't even have to use that many incendiary grenades last mission. Alright, let's actually, um, let's give everyone their lovely DLC. Mmm, these look so cool, though. Alright, you know what, Mendo, we're putting you back in the operation garb for now. We'll give you your DS DLC outfits back later. Alright, I want to see you guys in your DL default outfits for a little bit. They're genome soldiers? No, it's just everybody has them. Because nobody wants to turn into a zombie and die horribly of radiation poisoning. Let's go. Also, hello there, Poke. Good day, good day, good evening. How's it going? Oh no, we're surrounded again. Well, this is a big map. Seems the URNC mobilized quite a large force. We won't be able to charge through the mine at the moment. Everyone, stick to the plan and defend your positions. Take out the incoming enemies. The nearby turrets have been activated and can be used at any time. Once an opportunity presents itself, we'll make a break for it together. Atena, what's the status of the underground passage we prepared earlier? They're operating normally. I've marked them on the map. Oh, what's this? By using the conveyor belts in the underground passage, we can move quickly and provide support around the safe house. Looks like Miss Deadeye could use, make good use of them. Mendo, is a tear gas grenade ready to get- We're using tear gas. War crimes a- War crimes a ho. Let's see. Another day. Fair enough. I'll toss a tear gas grenade into the area where enemies will pass through. Once in effect, the fog will persist for a period of time. Enemies that make contact with the fog will be exhausted, giving us an edge in battle. Looks like this isn't really complicated to use. There are quite a few enemies to the west. Give me some tear gas grenades as well. Yay! War crimes ho! Tear gas grenades generate dense fog in the surrounding area for two turns. If an enemy human unit comes into contact with the fog, Inflict exhausted for one turn. Uh, take damage equal to 30% of max HP at the end of the action. Uh, let me. Oh my goodness. Um, let's do that. Sorry, that was bugging me. 
Hello there, Southern. Hello, hello. Nice to see you again. How are you doing? Here they come. Everyone, get ready. Let's give them a warm welcome. Defeat 75 units. Damn. Tear gas grenade is now available for synthesis. Gas. Let's see. Two turns. If an enemy human comes exhausted, take damage equals to 30%. Yeah, war crimes. Fixed simple turret. Okay. It doesn't have that much HP. But, hmm, hmm. Well, let's take out. It can't hit anyone. Oh, I mean, if we only got one choice, so we'll guess we'll just start off like this. Let's save. Quite a number of turrets we have. What is this? Is this the mine? I guess this is the abandoned mine we're supposed to use to get away. We're probably gonna have to run to the right side later. Underground passage. Oh! Hey, I guess we're... This is really cool, actually. There's buildings everywhere we can use for cover, ruins. And these underground passages, which we can use to walk around. Hello there, Alkawa. Haku PB. What the heck? I'm, my name's Hakupi now? You're using like, um, Jiraike speak. Hakupi. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'd be really embarrassed if I got a girlfriend that called me that. Hakupi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, hazukashi yo, so you, yobikata. The children long for the mines. Yeah. Victorian era children. I don't think I should stand here. This high platform gives us extra visibility. We don't need visibility though. There's no fog. But we can shoot people from here. Which is good. I want to get this guy. This sniper is dangerous. Always have to aim for the snipers. And then the commandos. So who's the closest to a... Okay. Jefty is the closest to um one of the mine areas. Aten is also pretty close. I don't want to blow up that barrel yet. I feel like I could do something more with the barrel. And there's a piece of lore here. What if I was? Alcal? Are you like secretly a Jiraike girl? This whole time? want to get rid of the snipers you are not that dangerous so we can leave you for now why is there a sniper here uh, I guess Jeff Day's job will be counter sniping but that's what she talked about during the um, during the prologue anyway um, so we need to get rid of this guy Maybe we can come out here and take care of that sniper as well. Eventually, we want to, we want to come out here and throw some grenades at these guys as well. Hmm. Actually, we can throw a we can throw an incendiary grenade, and these guys will burn to death very quickly. Oh no no no! If we if we have if we have Atena go over here. Pop up here, throw an incendiary grenade, all these guys will die instantly. I won't do that. Let's do that. Mendo's not in a great spot right now. I can actually have him move somewhere else.
Good. Shafty does not enter critical condition. Okay, okay. I wonder if 75 is all the enemies that are here. Or they're gonna send reinforcements. That might be bad. How much damage do you do? 48 damage. You hit so hard, Atana, with your... What is your pistol? Um, let's see. Let's go in here. We don't need to pick up these items just yet. I'm going to shoot you twice. I will have 7 AP. 7 AP. Go in here. We'll have... 4 AP. We don't have enough. Let's go. X. Teleport. Here. Ah, it's not far enough. Or is it? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Wait, why aren't they dead? They should be receiving like, extra damage. Oh wait, it did work. It did work. Alright, cool. Um, You're in a bad spot now, though. Ooh, this is a bad spot for you. What do we do? These guys can't hurt her, but these guys can. You know, our our characters are not that good at taking damage. At least not without their buffs. I mean, we can have her move here. That'll give her extra evasion, but... She doesn't have enough AP to teleport again. Mmm. That's not good. I can either move here to increase my chances of dodging or I can... No, I can't one-shot them. Too weak. Yamo in. I can't toss another grenade. Well, I guess we'll use the left-right maneuver potion. This is probably the right time. Alright guys, time for some... Time for some drugs. I like how she just tosses it on the floor. And we're throwing some smoke grenades as well. Might be a 50 AE, it might be a 50 AE. Cause like, that's a big gun. Look at how big her gun is. That is massive. It's huge. Like, Atena is not a short woman. She is as tall as Mendo. Like, that is a big gun. Let's see, the game is getting genuine love from non GF. It's so wholesome, is it? Oh goodness. That's great! Uh, I hope the game continues to find success. You know, we're clo- We're- if, you're if you guys have the game, please do write a re review after playing a few hours of it. Please write some positive reviews. This game needs to succeed. It needs to succeed! I want it to succeed! Okay? I wrote my review. You know, all of my favorite content creators, um, or all of my favorite GFL fandom people, they've all written reviews. You guys should re write reviews too. We gotta beat back those trolls, okay? This is a good game and it deserves to succeed. Let's see, you can go here. It's hard to tell what we should be doing. I guess we can have Mendo move somewhere else. For now, it's not a good idea for him to be here.
And Javon, you've got these two guys to deal with. And all these enemies. What's your attack range, Javon? One, two, three, four, five. They got on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can he can take out that sniper. We're so back, yeah. We base if the OSK was like wild, wildy mag. We don't know, okay? OSK could be some magical new future caliber, you know? Um, DD2 is getting a lot of hate because of poor optimization and microtransactions. This game is bad because Betty found a boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't want to be Betty's boyfriend. She's too. She's not for be. She's not for that sort of thing. Okay. Cons a couple of constructive negative reviews when people actually play the game, but found it isn't for them. Mm, that's good. Yes, a good reviews should be objective. You know, focus on things that are, like you know, gameplay flaws, coding errors. You know, if the game crashes a lot, that's a problem. Uh, writing can be judged, but I find more often than not, writing is up to taste. You know, some people like bad writing. <laughs> Sense is whining like a brat. Zero out of ten, can't marry Jeff T. She already has a boyfriend, can't give her an oath ring. <laughs> I've never been one to particularly care about um, the stupid oath systems. I, I don't care about that sort of thing. But I'm also the type of person who doesn't enjoy GFE VTubers, so... Let's see, what else can we do? Look at that! By upgrading her passive, Jefty can shoot so much farther now. Look at how big that is! I can- this is like the max I can zoom out. Right, I can't- oh actually no, that's the max I can zoom out, but like, look at that! She can cover half the screen! More than half the screen. Oh my goodness. Um. But who do we who do we shoot? Who do we shoot? That sounds like a that sounds really nasty. Who do we shoot? Uh, we can go inside of here and pop out somewhere else to get rid of somebody. Um, what would be a good place to pop out of? Maybe here. Just so we can get rid of the enemy snipers. We don't need to worry about these scouts for now. Oh, maybe we we do want to kill this guy though. He's gonna eventually be able to shoot one of these turrets. I mean, like we took care of that sniper there. Hmm. We could go over here and give Atena a hand, but I think she can handle herself. She'll be fine. Um, Mendo, on the other hand, didn't really get to kill anyone. Uh, maybe we can have him put up some barricades or something. Since he has the extra AP. Alright, we can put down a turret. I forgot we had those. Oh, there's a sniper here. Can't kill him either. Hey, what's this? This is the building. Uh, hmm. Dosio. Dosio. Now let's get rid of this commando. He's kind of in my way. Or we could kill these two. Uh, I'd, I'd probably want to get rid of this one. 
Mendo's standing in the way though. Probably use a turret to kill him. If we pop out here, we can't shoot anyone yet. So let's go over here. Wait, what do you mean you can't kill him in one shot? Jeff, do you suck? So we've got rid of that sniper, or that, that trooper. Let's move down here then. Get ready to finish off the other sniper. Mendo can actually teleport. Um, do we want to teleport him somewhere though? I guess we could have him move over here. Together with Atena, we can finish off these commandos. Leave these guys with a lot of um, weakness, and then we'll pick them up later. her she actually has armor oh, because of her tactical shield Vision 53 Mendo meanwhile does not have armor um, I think we can get away with not using anything here let's just end the turn When did the bullet that bit falsely drop? We don't know. War crimes. Bleeding out of their third degree burns. Actually, damn. Atena's doing work. She's doing work. Commander, there are a total of four targets two males and two females. Received. You guys will help support the recon forces. The rest of you go and capture the targets. Yo, look at that commander. They've got drip. Look at that. What is that? So we definitely want to be laying some more tear gas. Oh, yeah, there's so many of them. Seems like they intend to bring in more reinforcements. Maintain control of the front lines. Don't let them give them the opportunity to concentrate their firepower. If the pressure is too high, we can pull back the defense lines accordingly. Um, it's more important that we get rid of the commandos than the scouts. You suck! Can turret. Okay, what's this? Hey, we can make another turret. Excellent. Uh huh. All right. Um. Uh, actually, you're pretty good here on your own. Atena, you're, you're doing pretty okay. Uh, 
Uh, I don't need to hit the scout. We need to take out these guys. What about Mendo? Oh yeah, all these our turrets are like they're all gonna get destroyed. Unless we can We need Jeff to kill that sniper. And we also need to deploy smoke tear gas over there. Okay, that was a bad move. That was a really bad move. Um. Going to seven? All right, see you around. How could you cosplay Raymond take pictures of... Titanite 5 clusters exclusively. Um, I mean, interesting. Why? Why? I don't even like Type 95 that much. All oh, right, we could have just put a turret here. How silly of me. Amanda, you didn't need to be here. Wait, we can have the turrets repair themselves. Which could be more useful than actually... That could be more useful than... Than um, having them shoot. I want you to throw out a gas grenade. Not gonna lie, I, lie, I love Dion. I can understand why C and Dirk's a sad, but I wouldn't be like how they are. I, I don't understand at all. I can't understand this sort of behavior. I don't think it's normal. Excellent! A crit. Okay, we're just gonna have this turret repair itself. Better to act as a damage sponge. Since Javon has some extra time on his hands. Actually, we don't need to make a turret just yet. We'll make a new turret if we need to, but for now we can just do this. Put the turret over here.
can move back over here. We need some... Do we need to move? We can just shoot them from here, right? Yeah, we could. Let's do this. No, no. Right. Have you synthesized another turret? We have so many turrets now. Hmm. Man, I... she doesn't do enough damage though. Move here. Hey, what's the, oh, huh? Old Geiger counter. This old fashioned Geiger counter was once used widely for radiation monitoring in the yellow zone. Despite its reliable performance, it has been replace, replaced by a new wristband type because of its bulky design. Obsessive boy, boyfriend behavior, yeah. You know, Girls aren't actually into obsessive boyfriend behavior, guys. Like, they're only like that if you're like an anime boy, but if you're not, it's kind of weird. Let's... Take a shot. Nice. Uh, range 3. Disadvantage range 3. Alright. The only issue with her pistol is that it's got really poor range. Alright, we can try again to shoot this commando. Hopefully this time it'll kill his ass. It didn't. It didn't kill his ass. Unfortunate. You know what we could have done is we could have put another turret here for them to shoot at instead. Oh, they're gonna kill this turret now. No guys are obsessive girls either, yeah. It's only- obsessive behavior is only attractive in fiction. Because you don't feel the consequences of obsessive behavior in fiction. But you can always put away the book or anime. Oh, the AI is not aiming for the turrets. Interesting. I feel my lack of girlfriend and I'll be it because of my condition causes such. Oh, okay, your condition. Is there something wrong? I, I guess I can feel that. A condition, uh, whether they be physical or mental, can often lead to problems 
with relationships. It's difficult. It's it's difficult. Should get around to doodling, but lazy. <gasps> Poke, you're gonna doodle? Oh my god, you don't know how happy I am to hear that. Actually, wait, Poke, didn't you... Didn't you draw Type 95 like a long time ago? I feel like you did. I feel like I saw an art that you drew of Type 95 a long, long, long time ago. Or am I, am I being crazy? It's pretty easy to conjure me when you post said Teresi. <laughs> Uh, I see. If my if my Discord's ever feeling dead, I'll I'll be sure to post some Centeracy. Talk to a female classmate and your girlfriend already plotting a murder scene. <laughs> what if tut mentality? How to cure that can? Mm, yeah. There are just too many of them. Just using mi guns may not be enough. Do you have any more tear gas? Yes. We need to commit more crimes. We don't have many of those, but I'm prepared an even better present for them. Atana, are the RC bombs ready? The RC bombs! Uh, Atana? <gasps> oh, remote control bombs! I've deployed a batch, and they're in the process of booting up. It will take a while before they can be detonated. There are still some remaining. We can use them as required. Copy. Uh, activates on the next turn after placement. If detonated, deal 150 damage to nearby enemy units. Oh, so we can place them beforehand and then we can blow them up as needed. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Use RC bomb to blow up at least three uni units at the same time. How to cure that condition? Hear horror stories of guys having a girlfriend or a wife. That screw them over. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Let's see, where can we corral them all into that we can use an ex... Actually, we should probably do it here. Wait to detonate. One, two, three. Let's see, what can we do with you? How much does it cost for us to put on RC bomb? Four. Oh, okay, we can do this. In order to make sure we have enough people that can get hit by this bomb. One, two, three. Okay, this bomb can get three of them. New skills active duration. Shield reflex. Okay. Let's use emergency charge. And we'll put down a turret here. We might want to put down a tear gas grenade here later. And, you know, Aten is slowly cleaning up these enemies. She's doing really well, actually. Because no one can hurt her. Um, yeah. 
I can't even hit her. We have items in this game, so we should use them liberally. <coughs> like this game is just like, yeah, we have items, so use them. Um, let's go somewhere else. You know, Chefty probably needs help. She probably ne needs help. We'll have her go over here and... What can we do? This turret can't shoot. This turret can't shoot. No snipers here. Um, two snipers here. One sniper here. This guy's still hiding down here. I'm kind of worried. He's probably going to move at a really bad time for me. My buddy is an Anje husband, though. And he went a bit through alienated grief when what happened to her happened. I had to tell him back to a better mindset over months. Uh, over Anje? Oh. Just over, like, this, the events of Slow Shock? Damn. I didn't know it hit people that hard, but I can see I can see why. You know, she was a really well-written character. Let's see. Use support fire, and we'll drop turrets. Because Jetty herself really sucks at at um shooting people normally for AP. There we go. We can save up on her AP by having her do that instead. Guy, how much HP do you have? 54. Nice critical. Nice. Put down another turret. Very good. And Mendo, you gotta deal with these guys. And since you've got all this free time on your hands, we can go and deploy another smoke grenade. Or another gas grenade. Takes two AP. It's actually quite cheap. So it's a good writing, yeah. They really just have amazing writing in this series. Kind of like that way since I'm tired of some manga series killing off characters too willy-nilly. It becomes, oh no, I wonder how long this guy would last. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, I love Honkai, but they introduced Firefly and then killed her instantly. Right, and they expect you to feel bad about it, but... I'm not too torn up about it, though I know a lot of people are are saying, oh, it's it's crazy, and I'm just like, uh, I mean, oh, okay, I, I guess. All right, how many people did we kill? We killed only 30. They're going to get enemy reinforcements, for sure. There's going to be more of them. There's going to be so many more of them. We have all this extra time. Do we want to synthesize some more tear gas grenades? <sighs> Why not? Actually, maybe Atana didn't have to be here. 
um, probably should have finished off these dudes with Atuna. Or maybe had her run around grabbing these items. Howdy, Raven Man. Hey, hey there, Zuni. How's it going? Uh, I was watching my sister earlier in bed. I'm like, oh, Kuru, you've gotten so far in one stream, but I need you to be where I am, Kuru. I, I need someone to talk to about all my lore schizo. I, I, I've been holding it in for years and getting into this game, I've been like, oh my goodness. Oh, all the theorizing, all the stories. And I'm just like, oh, what's going on? What section are you on right now? I'm on 2-5, so I'm in the first new mission um, that wasn't on the de demos. Only a few writing were able to pull off that it made a big impact on fans. Like, spare me the sorrow of backstory if you're gonna kill them off and forget them later, yeah. Although there are some characters that I enjoy where, like, you don't know anything about them because they die at the beginning of a story, but then their death um, is used as a as a thematic element throughout the rest of the um, story. I like stories like that, where you don't really know too much about the person who dies, but their death causes so many issues with the main characters that they're constantly revisited over and over and over again. Like Free Run's a little bit different because it's expositing. It's taking its time to exposit on Yusha Himmeru, but um, there's some stories where you just don't really know that person that well. The characters don't know that person that well, but they ended up um, affecting the main character to an extreme extent. Like, um, there's this old robot show called Martian Successor Nadesco, and um, there's this character, his name is Guy. And the main character is like a... He, he loves uh, super robot shows, right? He, he's a super robot otaku. But he's afraid to show his love of robots. But then here comes Guy, this crazy dude who absolutely loves like Saturday morning cartoons and robots and superheroes. Who like completely changes Akio's... Per, um, the main character's perspective. But then he dies. And his death is felt throughout the rest of the show. I like that. I liked it a lot. I like Jimmy died. That's the reason for the story. If it affects the characters and start the hero journey, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why you mentioned that number. Yes, we're currently playing two five. We're completely surrounded. I feel like that's <laughs> every mission. We're completely surrounded. But it's, it's fun. Atena is just cleaning house by herself. No one can hurt her. Everyone who tries to shoot Atena gets shot at. And also we're committing war crimes. We're committing a lot of war crimes, actually. Oh. Oh. Now reinforcements led by the commander will arrive soon. Let's move out. The commander is a cop because of some. Yes, we're we're using tear gas on them. Although I don't think it's tear gas. I think we're using something much worse than tear gas. Be on guard and find some cover. I sense that there's others approaching. And also we have a uh, remote-controlled bomb that I'm going to de de detonate right now. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, you poor things. Oh, this turret's going to be gone. these penetrating shots, but it, there's no one lined up for it. 
Actually, do we even- we don't even need to use Jefty to kill that turret. There we go. The thing about this area, though, is that there's no- there's no tunnel for Javon to move to, or anyone else to back Javon up. He's pretty much taking the main road here by himself. Nerve agent, blister agent, something really messed up. It can't be anything good. Well, that's why we're using it. Now these, these... Rosartris scum do not deserve it. They, de they deserve no mercy. You know, actually, Javon can go and march out himself. He can march out on his own. Why? Because he's actually got a force field. Let's see, where is it? He's got an energy shield. And he it completely nullifies a uh, one attack. So neither of them can hurt him. He can just jump out, <laughs> go ooga booga on his own. Let's see. These guys should be coughing right now. Doesn't seem to show the damage, but they're not they're not going to be doing too good. I should put down another remote control bomb if I can. Or maybe have Atena do it. Here. Is there a proxy bomb? We don't have a proxy bomb. We have remote control bombs and we have tripwire bombs. Uh, no proxy bombs, at least not yet. Okay, Mendo will have you. Deploy another turret. Wait, we, we're out of turrets? This went away then. You know, we'll have Atena stay here for now. Anything and more we can make. Um, we're good for now. Well, trip wires are kind of proxy bomb. They, I guess so. That's what I thought too. They are a kind of proxy bomb. In turn. We should have put the bomb over there. Instead.
This movement. Oh no, they've got a red sniper. Un Onian. Onian. Okay, I guess that must be a Irish or Scottish name. Onian. Freaking Brits. Uh, distinguished cl elite commando of the URNC. Despite being a squad leader in the local military, he holds himself to the strict standards of the special forces, gaining formidable strength through rigorous training. Relentless training has given them unparalleled combat prowess within the local military. They specialize in assault tactics to disable opponents' weapons temporarily, causing them to temporarily lose the ability to perform normal attacks. Oh shoot. Another red sniper. Oh, I hate these guys. And there's the commander. Surround the targets from all directions. We'll catch them like rats in a hole. Orders received. All units attack according to the battle plan. Oh, guys. <laughs> it's the Shikikan. It's, it's the commander. <laughs> An ordinary officer of the URNC serving as a leader on the battlefield. With extensive combat experience that can issue commands to surrounding soldiers, thereby reducing the squad's casualties. Possesses reliable leadership which actively influences surrounding teammates, boosting their evasion. Support priority, biggest concentration of allies, and attack priority closest distance. What is that pistol though? Uh, that is a that is a funky looking pistol. AR or 18 is Onian's wife. It looks like the special forces have joined the party. The numbers are more than I expected. Judging by judging by their momentum, there might be more of them heading our way. Don't let your down your guard. Everyone has the elite Every team has elite members. Watch out for their attacks. Looks like a prolonged prolonged battle. Stay focused, everyone. Enemy has greater firepower than we expected. Atena, I collected some material near the safe house earlier. Would you take a look and see if they'll come in handy? Yo! Dual barrel modification. Standard turret is now available for production. Let me see. These can be mod used to modify the turrets. Leave it to me. Oh, we can get our upgraded turrets now. It's a Gucci Glock. Not sure how that jacket works? What do you mean you're not sure how that jacket works? Um, he's got a belt. These side panels are part of the jacket internal. Um, the jacket splits open. Uh, it actually doesn't split open. Okay, I see how it works. This red stuff here, it's part of the same cape that's on it's, or it's part of the same black fabric. This side here, um, the left side goes over. So this red part, this red middle part, is one, is like the left side of the jacket. The entire left side of the jacket is like this. And then the right side of the jacket goes underneath. It's not that complicated, it just looks a little bit fancy. You can level up your sentry to level 2. One more level. You can shoot rockets. <laughs> Don't bring your TF2 memes here. Let's see. Yeah, um, Javon can continue operating on his own. He's perfectly capable of it.
can detonate that now, but I kind of want to leave that for a little bit later. Well, actually, we can have Jefty do this. Penetrating shot. Beautiful. Mendo, you're pretty close to... Yeah, you are. Actually, you're pretty close. To having max SP. We want to start using more of our abilities soon. It's too weak. It's too weak! Give me a better turret. Standard turret. We need two simple turrets. Actually, we'll have Jeff to do it. Insufficient materials. We only have one dual barrel modification. A dual barrel uh, automated turret, modified from the AU military components and built on the foundation of a simple turret. When deployed, it can be controlled remotely or offensively. It's normal tax deal 90. Turret will automatically return to the backpack at the end of each battle. It's got extra range. We need that. And much better accuracy. Four D pocket. Uh, obtain a total of twenty items. Right. Let's do this again. Wait. How come you have more HP? Oh, it's because of the building. The building is protecting you, you son of a bitch. that it's so beautiful it's so beautiful oh my goodness oh it feels so good so left row buttons don't do anything what do you mean left row buttons Game needs Vampiro, please. I, I don't want Vampiro. No Vampiro, please. I, I beg of you. I'm not into that. Alright, there's another sniper up here. Another sniper here. And here. We need to get rid of these guys. They'll be really annoying. What's, what's your skill again? This 
A unit can move an additional time after executing a normal attack. Okay, these snipers can do hit and run. No snipers up here. I mean, oh, there is one. There is one sniper up there. What? What? You missed. How dare you miss? You missed too. Everyone's missing their shots today. This is this is awful. Every successive damage to the damage improves and gives okay, you don't want that. Find some smoke. Right, let's end the turn. Wait, can we build another turret? We can, can't we? Yes, we can. So many turrets. My right, one, two, three, four, five, six, six turrets now. Shikikan's gun looks like a P99 FN57 with a Glock. Mm. How did you hit me even with the smoke? Damn. Oh, those snipers are being all sneaky. That's not good. Well, almost at killing 75 enemies. You guys gonna run to? I want Jeffy to kill this elite sniper. He's gonna be really annoying later. If we don't finish him off now. These guys are not moving though. I wonder why. We need to get rid of them sooner or later. And also we need um, Atenek to go back there and back up Mendo. There's all these enemies here. He can't take them on him on his own. He can, he can try, but um, yeah, there's a lot of them. First off, let's kill this commando. Throw this. Throw another turret. Need to be here. Oh. 
Okay, sure. We'll put it over here then. Good. Those snipers are the most annoying enemies. I need to make sure to get rid of all of them. What's your range is seven and it'll become eight? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we were already standing here, we could kill him. We could have killed him. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Five. We can keep this turret here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Gonna go here and we're gonna prepare to teleport. Actually, we could actually just put some mines. Save myself the trouble. This sniper is probably aiming to get to this building right here. So what I'm gonna do is gonna wait. How much HP do you have actually? 75. Uh, the trip mine's not enough to kill him. Not enough. What if I were to just shoot you in the face? That would work too. That's one problem taken care of. Got a new compensator. Make another trip mine. Shoot you. We still have gas. We can make one of their RC bomb, actually. Um, I feel like Javon might need it more than the, me, though. More than Mendo. Yeah, why not? Let's put an RC bomb right here. Probably should have put it here though. Whoopsies, Mendo. Ooh, hmm. What's the cooldown? Six turns. Let's use lock on instead. Actually, I want to be on this platform with Mendo. It would probably be better, but... Eh. Eh. We gotta take care of these guys soon. I think we're good, though. Oh. Yeah, we... You haven't acted yet. 
We need you to do some work. Grenade feast. Let's see, I can do that. Increase accuracy by 15, attacking the same target increased by 30%. Use assault tactics as well. That clocks for two turns. All right. Oh wait, they've already been they've already been choking on smoke. I I didn't need to do that again. I'm sorry. My bad. Go man. Um. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. You guys have been um, choking on smoke for a while. I, I'm go man. Oh, Mendo, you're you're taking a lot of hits. That's not good. That's no good, Mendo. We need you to be alive. What? He walked around my... <laughs> he walked around my trip mine. What an asshole. I had that perfectly prepared just for you. And you... You walked around it. Shameful. Shameful behavior. Now we can continue to do this again. <laughs> Just continuing to spam more and more of these grenades. It's too bad we can't keep shooting them. Actually, Javon, you probably need to move back and help out the others. And Mendo, you are... you're taking quite a beating, actually. I want to be rid of that sniper. But Mendo can't deploy the turret far enough. Look at all these enemies all in a straight line, ready to get blasted. Hmm, what can I do about that?
Yo, I probably should have given him Mendo a heal. Whoops. Since Jeff Day's got all this free time. Hmm, what can we do? I should set up some ambushes over here. Probably. So online, I know it's perfect. If Jeff T were standing here, she could one shot all of them. What a shame. All right, Jeff T, we want you to go grab all these items. We're running low on items. Smoke grenade. Smoke gun. That was... that was bad. That was really bad on my part. That was really bad on my part. I was expecting the enemies to just walk straight, but they ended up targeting this turret. Oh, man. You know what? You guys can have this spot. I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Let's, <laughs> let's show up behind the enemy lines. Use some bomb. Let's use draw fire as well. In taunt. Okay, we need to get rid of you. Ah, oh, we don't have enough to use mechanical rampage. Maybe we do. One more. We need one more kill. Just one more. You know what I can do though? Um, let's use the camouflage standee. This will taunt him. He'll have no choice but to attack it. I mean, just look at it. It's so pathetic. Wouldn't you want to shoot at this too? Are you winning? I'm, I'm getting my ass ravaged. It is not going well.
You know, my, my characters are all separated. It's not great. Kept you waiting, huh? Kept you waiting, huh? Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> Explosive kit? What does that do? Did RC buy you dinner first? Oh, fuck. That was, that was bad. Jeff T is not supposed to be critical conditioned. Jeffy's not supposed to get critical conditioned. Oh my god. Chapter 2 5. Turn 8. That was, that was dumb. I wasn't supposed to let that happen. I really like the sound effects with this. We don't want Jeff T to stand there. I'm just gonna get wrecked by this dude. Or at least we need her to dodge. It's this it's this dude. Oh Nian. Oh, he's the dangerous one. Um heroic charge. All normal attacks are guaranteed to crit. Uh, we can't let her get hit by that. Twenty one eighty. What, what? What the heck? He has eight hundred and fifty HP. That's insane. I can't deal with that. Um, crap. In that case, we'll have to use this camouflage standee. He'll be forced to attack it instead. And then we'll go here and ready up for the next turn where we're just gonna slaughter him. Um, alright, finish off you again. Yeah, probably we need Atuna to be there to help with this boss.
All right, better. Um, how do we kill him? How do we kill him? How do we kill him? Target locked on. I probably shouldn't have used target locked on. Um, whoops. Detonate that. You need to run back to help your team. Oh, yeah, we have stun grenades. I completely forgot about these. Continue firing. What? This dude has like, he's been flashbanged and he's still dodging sniper shots. How are you not dead? <laughs> this guy! <laughs> 4 HP. Oh my goodness. Uh, we'll take care of these guys later. Man, it's really m m going out of his way of sniper shots, yeah. Getting on my nerves. Okay, I think we killed all the enemies that give us stuff. Do a funny. Oh, hey! Look who's back. I didn't realize he would bring back those turrets as well. Give them a little bit of harassment. I didn't think his ability would revive all these other turrets. That would have been really nice to know, actually.
Here, guys. Lore dump. <laughs> Operation Bakery Briefing. Okay. MID Operation Bakery Briefing. Situation. It is now confirmed that the Rosartress have a secret laboratory in the something mountains of something for the development of military use relic technology. It has an attached special unit, special forces unit of battalion strength to test related new weapons. Intelligence indicates that there are three regiment sized army units in the area and at least one squadron of aviation units that can offer support at short notice. Uh, mission. The mission will be carried out by the MID infiltration team and TASA Detachment 3. They will be under the command of Captain Carl Minfeld. The mission objective is to destroy the URNC's ability to develop relic technology, weapons, completely destroy the lab, and eliminate the research and development personnel and data. The mission requires reconnaissance and infiltration of the region surrounding the laboratory, as well as extraction of VIP codename Bakery. Said VIP can provide us with intelligence needed to carry out a strike on the laboratory. The operation should prioritize secrecy and speed of action in order to find and locate bakery and effect an extraction ASAP. Support assets. A local level high local high level informant named Crane will assist the operation. He can provide information on movements of enemy forces. An additional squadron is on standby for strike support. Ensure that squad operations do not threaten physical safety and identity of intelligence personnel. Provide effective ground guidance to aviation units as necessary. Wait. We have another squadron on standby? It's not the TASA detachment, it's not the MID infiltration team. There's another squad on standby. Oh. We have more friends somewhere. Risk factors. We, can, we lack the information on the new weapons tested by the lab and have no specific understanding of their strike scope and capability. Climate and geographical conditions in the area may not be conducive to aerial support and may also affect extraction plans. If the operation takes longer than expected, enemy armored units in the area will pose an effective threat to our operations. Did they ever mention Team 3? Uh, yeah. Det um... I mean, no, no one's, um, no one's mentioned the third, um, the additional squadron for strike support. Oh, the squadron is not a, they're not ground units. The squadron is air units. I think we have air support. Yeah, it's quick response aviation. A QRF. Is that what QRF means? Quick response? I'm going to assume that's what it means. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> All right, we can go back down there. And grab all these supplies. And we still have four tur four turns left. Quick reaction force. Wait, he got spooked out? No, get back here. We want to kill you. Yeah, get back here. We want to kill you. Your coat is just too damn fancy. 
I don't like it. The enemy fire is easing up. Retreat into the mine immediately. Let's use a backup rail car to leave this place. Oh wait, there's still more of them? We must we killed like we must have killed a hundred of them. We've taken control of this area. Adjutants give the give the order. Search every inch, leave nothing to chance. gonna blow up I guarantee you it's gonna blow up wait did I not grab that item crap I I think I missed a I missed an item shit enemy forces are gathering over there now Atana detonate the bomb understood haha <laughs> Everyone's like, damn, they buried explosives. Couldn't have gotten it far in such a short amount of time. Continue calling for more reinforcements. Yes. That's the Rosartress way. Just call. Waves and waves of reinforcements. You literally killed more than a full platoon. <laughs> I would lose much morale if it's like only four... If only four people managed to take out over a hundred and... A hundred of our guys. They don't even have air support. Fantastic. Team 1, follow me to the east. Teams 2 and 3, head to the west and north respectively. Sounds like Super Earth. Yeah, but they don't even have air support, airstrike. You know, at least Super Earth has, you know, a lot of aerial assets to support you. These guys are, <laughs> they're just sending waves and waves of troops in. With Super Earth, each um, each um, Hell Diver is capable of taking out hordes and hordes of enemies on their own. But with the URNT, it's the opposite. These guys are just completely outmatched. If anything, Tasa is the Hell Divers. Four dudes killing everybody. That's that's very. This is very much Super Earth. We're super Antarctica. <laughs> Their skills are better than I gave them credit for. But aren't they supposed to be capturing Jefty? Why does it feel like they aren't holding back at all? Each Helldiver is canonically... They send in a new grunt. Mm -hmm. This is hardly the time to think about that. Retreat into the mine over there. Right. Atuna, come with me to check the mine interior first to see if it's safe. Mendo, you and Jeffy wait outside the mine entrance for a moment. Javon, you're plotting something. Javon's gonna change the plan on us. Um, that's why he's asking Atna to go in with him. He's gonna change the plan and not tell Mendo because he's already foreseen that um, Mendo and Jeffy are gonna go off on their own. He knows. Isn't Alberta canonically obliterated in Helldivers? I feel like Canada always gets the short end of the stick in these scenarios. Understood. You can be trusted, right? Huh? Of course. Let's go to the entrance and wait for updates. It's safe inside. Come on in. Looks to be alright. Yeah, they're gonna... They're gonna blast the door shut. It looks to be alright. Let's head inside too. What is it? Ikanaide. The rail car has been checked, so why haven't they come in yet? I'll go take a look. Watch out! Javon! What's going on? Jeff T, why do you have the detonator? What have you done? Um. Hello there, Sasuke. Uh, why are you saying Sasuke? Um. And interesting. Hello. Oddly, it was a territories in Alberta, and everything else just came in the same zone as the rest of the. Mm. 
Well, I guess we've been separated from the rest of the Tassa detachment. Atena's not going to be happy. <laughs> She's going to be fuming about this. Javon's going to be like, damn, that's a feisty girl. <laughs> Atena's going to... Oh, we're going to have an earful after this. Now's not the time to discuss this. The explosion will attract the URNC forces. Let's get out of here. Seems they've blown up the entrance to the mine. You lot, come with me to search the mountain paths. At the same time, contact HQ and check if the mine has another exit. Yes, sir. So there's probably another... We're going to have another loop where we decide to actually go through the mine, I feel like. I feel like this is another branch. I like how when you level up, right? Your HP goes up, your accuracy and your evasion, but like not your damage because obviously they're shooting guns, right? It doesn't make sense that you level up and suddenly your bullets hurt more. It, it does make sense you're more accurate. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Did she literally pulled this in no time to explain? <laughs> Oh, I... Man, Atena's gonna pull out the nasty Onezan. In... <laughs> right after this line, I, I guarantee it. <laughs> See? I told you! <laughs> she tried to stab her with the needle again! <laughs> Whoa. ま、また麻酔状。使わ、使われようとすると怖い。怖。あんたの相手をしてる時間はない。やめるんだ、アテナ。銃を下ろせ。邪魔よ、解け。まずは君が銃を下ろせ。落ち着くんだ。そいつが爆弾を起爆したところを見たわ。目的は火を見るより明らかじゃない。あなたも読むんだ。どうしてあなただけ残したの
ジェバンがあなたに変われって<笑>ごめんジェバン俺だ無事か<笑>どいつもこいつも同じことばっか聞きやがって俺はピンピンしてるぜさっきの衝撃で無線機が行かれちまっただけさそこにいる全員に聞かせたい話があるスピーカーにしてくれさて派手にやってくれたもんだなジェフティさんよ悪だくみする気なら私の聞こえないところでするべきだったねジバンジェフティに悪意はないんだきっとこの女は私たちを殺そうとしたのよ自分の思い通りにならない人間は全て殺すつもりなんだわもしそのつもりなら今までいくらでもチャンスはあったはずだでもだがアテナの言うことも一理あるジェフティさんあんたが邪魔をされたくない気持ちもわかるが俺たちは味方だもう少しやり方ってものがあるだろうモンドだけ残すとはなもともと残すつもりはなかったとっさの判断ってことかそれはそれは光栄だなモンドどどういう意味だ<笑>ジェフティさんあんたにはあんたの考えがあるだろうがそれはこっちも同じだだから現実は計画よりはるかに複雑で誰だ、ah, yeah. 俺もあんたも思い通りにはできない今度は正直に言うから俺の話をちゃんと聞いてほしい OK OK 好きにして俺たちの任務はあんたを南極へ連れて行くことだがあんたはその前に何としてでも妹を救出したいだからやり方をめぐって意見の衝突があったでも最終的な目的は同じだそうだ What is this? Um, negotiation. That's what's happening right now. I'm not a mother, whatever you're not a mother to want to do. No matter, so good you do for you. I'm funny, kill you. So that we never she is pissed. She is not happy about this. Call up, I show Coco de Canada to get bits to your kill you. Christopher, I'm a best. I'm the most all mother. ジェフティさん<笑>その沈黙肯定と受け取っていいんだなあんたが信用できる証拠は妹を救出するつもりなら俺たちの支援が必要だろ<笑>分かったでも余計なことはしないで交渉成立だなそれでモンドな,なんだジェフティさんはお前を信頼してるようだ<笑>レディーたちのエスコートを頼んだぞレディーたちのエスコート。うん。うん。I'll leave escorting the ladies to you. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm the commander now. Mendo, you're in command. <laughs> uh, I see why. I understand why. Technically, Atena should have the most experience, right? As a commanding, she should rank higher than Mendo. And in fact, this is Mendo's first mission. But the reason why Je Jevon is giving、uh, Mendo command is because. Is because both. How do I say this? Atuna is not gonna follow.、Um, follow Jefti's orders, and Jefti is not gonna follow Atuna's orders. Like, Mendo's the only one. Who's not against both of them, so they'll have to listen to what he says. Um, I don't know. Eh, oh, my no, Kimochi, or you could have a good thing. So your good thing, I own Artemis. You can't even know how many people need. My no, Icariwa, Ato de, Ato de, Aro. Icariwa, Sade, who see this. Toria is Sade, oh. Ano Tokino, Nino, my was.
don't repeat the same mistake. And he's talking about Ano Toki. He's talking about a very specific moment in time uh, in the Japanese. Yeah, she's emotionally compromised. Mm. I won't be with you for quite a while. No, I wanted to see the rest of the Tassa detachment. Man, he is so he is so out of the out of the you know he's not comfortable with this at all. No. <laughs> she has a lot of obje objections. She's just holding them back. This woman is is just filled with unbridled rage right now. She is angry. ま、<笑> So I gotta blow my nose. I was not able to blow my nose. I feel awful. Something weird has been happening like, the past couple of days. だがそんな無茶はできない。まず基地を偵察してから次の手を考えよう。アテナもそう思うだろう。いろんはないみたいだね。なら早く行こう。リゲルに残された時間はあとわずか。その場所は本当に安全なの。さあ、けどあそこは
基地周辺の地理には詳しいわ先に言っとくけどかなり危険よ南西部は汚染隔離エリアでエリート感染者しかいないから通らない方がいい<laughs> There's no sign of life there except for Elitz. We should try to. No, we're. I think we're gonna go through that side. Yeah, I think we're gonna go through the Elitz side. Taiyo ここにいるロレン軍の装備は旧式だけどシステム自体はローカルネットワークを使っているはずその通りだけどローカルネットワークにも隙はあるわたとえ完全なローカルネットワークを使っていたとしても<笑> Is that wise? Walking through a contaminated zone full of elid monsters? Absolutely it's the best idea There's no better way to get inside Inuzini Inuzini, meaningless death. Yeah, Inuzini wa Inu mitai ni shinu janai desu ka? So yu imin janai desu ka? Inuzini, Inuzini. Sore, Sore ka wa na muimi no shi? Muimi no shi desu ka? Even if their system is totally sealed, they must still receive commands externally. I know the location of some URNC so signal towers near the base. Put my chip in those signal towers. Yeah, Inuzini. The kanji for it is literally dog and death. You're literally dying like a dog. Meaninglessly. Yeah, why can't I read that? The stupid heart emoji reaction thing is blocking. I can't see. Yeah, looks like you've already worked out how to take on the base. I don't believe this was ever part of your mission. No, it was. We read the lore dump earlier. Their mission very much was to destroy the base. That's another lying. Wait, just the three of us? You're gonna try this again? I, I feel like we're gonna fail in the same spot. そんな無茶だ。リコーラップスでグライダーを作ればいい。グライダーか。それならまあ。納得したみたいだね。じゃあ、作戦会議は終了。まさかあんたがアイデアを出してくれるなんて。勘違いしないで。ジェバンの命令
俺の両親も育ての親だったずっとそばにいてくれた Oh no How is he gonna respond to this? This is the girl who took your parents away from you ごめんなさいあんたと過ごすはずだった時間を私が、yeah. She's even saying it I'm sorry for keeping them away from you Your, your parents are spending all that time with me instead of you. I'm sorry. So, what was that? I don't know. 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 So, but she got more to cure skitty. She wants Jeffy to bake her in a bun in her oven. Look in my but that's not said. Oh, no, look in my it. I know he's he's hurting. Yeah, Mondo, that's over that Mondo, that's over that. もうモンドのコアがもうなんか傷つけてるところが聞いてるんだ話せば長くなるリゲルを見つけて安全な場所に逃げられたら何でも答えるだから今は力を貸してほしいのリゲルも私もあんたの両親に育てられた二人の努力と犠牲を無駄にはしたくない多分ここで私たちが出会ったのも偶然なんかじゃないそういうことだったのね。アーチナ、You seem。Guys, I have another theory. I think アーチナ is into reading romance books. You know, she was so against this earlier, but now that she's heard this, she's all of a sudden. It seems like she's on board. I think アーチナ is an avid reader of romance novels. もう驚くことはないと思っていたの。Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's what I think. I think Atuna is an avid enjoyer of romance novels. Like she is, and that's like part of why she's such a hard woman to please. Yeah, Atuna san wa. Yeah, so so still come on, Shina Naiga. Atuna san wa. Nanka, eto. Renai no novel ga. Ski so na shito da. Boku wa so mo. Oh, we got. We can. We got a little cutscene. And we got nicer shoes.、Uh, let's go listen in. What are we gonna talk about this time? Oh, is this all gonna be cooking? But, what? What? サバイバルも必須科目だからなそれに料理は元からちょっとした趣味なんだほうその割には味の心配をしてるみたいだけど I mean if you care a lot about it you probably you know worry about it as well don't you 今までは自分のために作ってたからな君の口に合うかが不安で I used to cook for myself. I don't know if you'll like it. Did he cut that? <laughs> yeah, it looks like he just. He just, you know, skinned it and, and then stuck a stick on it. But no, you can actually see a cut down the middle. So 
It's been gutted. I've never served my food to anyone. Not even once? No, no not even once. That's why I was so... Um, anxious about it. If that's the case, then I'll be sure to properly taste your food. I mean, as long as it's properly cooked, I don't think I can have any complaints. <laughs> yeah, that's setting the bar way too low. I've got some seasonings from the ration, so I'll try to make it taste better. Oh, they actually... There's actually some animation in the... Apparently all you need is salt. Um... Apparently. I feel like if you're gonna cook rabbit, you're gonna need a lot more seasoning. Rabbit can be kind of tough. Not a lot of fat. And also, you know... It's got a rabbit smell. A lot of people don't like gamey smell. Salt and pepper? I mean, it's a ration. You're not going to have a lot of seasoning in a ration pack. I want a leg this time. You, you just had a leg. Special braised pork that- huh? Increases the AP of the unit by 15. Um, that- that was very clearly rabbit and not pork. Alright. So we have... A DT1 compensator. A direct upgrade of this current weapon. Increases the crit even further. Oh, that is a nasty Mosin the God. <laughs> We're really bubbifying this thing. Oh, that looks that looks terrible, I'm gonna be honest. Having that kind of uh comp on the muzzle end of a Mosin is just it's got teeth on it! <laughs> We're bubbifying our gun. Okay, we can- we have a, another red dot. A, a nicer red dot. It's a little bit bigger. Um, honestly, it, this kind of red dot would look much nicer on the bison. Like, that looks a lot nicer than on this thing. But this is the thing that needs more accuracy right now. We need this thing to have more accuracy. So we're going to keep on using the small red dot on the bison. For now, anyway. Literally just a cobra red dot. This thing? I, I'm i not too familiar with the different types of red dots. And I've... I actually don't know what this one is. I've never seen this design. Uh, judging by the name, it sounds like it's a... Eastern block red dot. I, I don't really know Eastern block stuff. Now it's a Mosinegant. Oh my goodness. I'm being a, I'm being assaulted. Interesting, we don't have the uh, the nice suppressor yet. This is a This suppressor is just a regular screw-on suppressor. It's not the nice white one that 
is shown in Atena's art. We don't have enough potential keys, so we're just gonna go ahead and build some. Oh, hey, we need explosive kits to make RC bombs. You should look it up. Russian optics look really cool, I see. We can make another scanner. We can actually make an advanced scanner as well. Military reconnaissance equipment built and camouflage. The device enhances sensitivity of the reconnaissance module even further. When deployed, it can expand the range. It can detect enemy with an expanded range. Its visual range is represented by yellow diagonal tiles. Okay. So this thing is... I guess it shows further than the other one. Creates a dense fog. If an enemy unit comes in contact with hot fog, inflict exhausted and untreatable. Um. Mika, fix this. The untreatable thing is it's missing. I'm gonna just assume untreatable just means they can't get healed. So, medics can't heal them while they take damage from tear gas. 80 armor penetration. Oh yeah, we might need that if we fight against armored enemies. Heck, banned. What does banned mean? I think that means we can't use these weapons in the next mission. We're gonna have to start um, picking and choosing what we bring along. Hmm. I'll assume there's folks who are immune to CBRN or something. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, let's see, how do I move items? There we go. We can't bring grenades, we can't bring standees. It's a stealth mission. Bring the advanced scanner. All right. We cleaned up our inventory. Let's go. Got a dip. All right. See you, Zuni. Thanks for joining us. Seems super good. No heal gas. Mm hmm. Uh, the area ahead is under control of the Rosartris. There's soldiers everywhere patrolling enemy. Er, patrolling everywhere. Our target signal towers are at different locations to the south. We need to install the chips on all three towers so I can guarantee a successful hack. Mendo, what's the situation around the target locations? Uh, we're back here again. Oh shoot, there's so many of them.
There are several campfires and I can even see some patrols nearby. But it's pretty dark so I can't see things too clearly. Since we're short on time, let's split up and install the chips of the designated targets. Beware the watchtowers in the area. They have strong lights and are in elevated positions, which will expose you even when you're in stealth. If we're operating solo, we'll need to some additional means to avoid risks. I've given everyone some soporific darts. Quantity should be enough for us to complete the infiltration mission on the signal towers. You guys really like these merciful weapons. I wouldn't mind using my combat knife, to be honest. Don't say the same thing as Jevin. <laughs> With this, we can avoid taking unnecessary lives. The enemy's patrol routes in this area are quite complex. Remember, even if an enemy has been tranquilized, they can be awakened if their teammate discovers them. If in such a situation occurs, enemies who notice something is wrong will try to find us. We must stay out of their sight. We'll keep an eye. I'll emphasize once again, be sure not to be detected. Once we're separated, we won't be able to provide support to each other. Understood. Okay. This reminds me a lot of a, sta of a stage in the original Bakery Girl. And if I'm right, then this is, since this is 2 6 and 2 7 is the annoying one, I think the next stage will be attacked by tanks. Um, I hope not, but I think it might be happening. We might be attacked by, by tanks next mission. Or maybe even during this mission, we might be attacked by tanks. Okay, we need, so you have to go down there, you have to go down here, and you have to go over here. Huh. So I guess it wants us to do this. And you have to go through here? No. You have to go through, away from the... You have to slip past these watchtowers, so... Go through here. Okay, go through the forest. And you have to go... Here. Can you go around? No, you can't. She could actually potentially go around there, but we, we need these items, so we have to go this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's going to be watch enemies watching around. Um, hmm. Let's use a dart. Oh yeah, I'm just going to assume that there's a scout on every single one of these cliffs. They're everywhere.
Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, the enemies are probably going to change their patrol patterns. While we're moving around. Infrared detection module. Make another advanced scanner. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people in the forest. What is that? Huh? How are we supposed to get through here? This guy's always going up and down. They're always going left and right. You're going left and right. You're going up and down. Oh, I see. We have to be standing up. We have to do something. We have to do an S maneuver like... Like this. We have to wait for you to be on the side. And you to be away as well. Okay, that's not as bad as it looks. Not as bad as it looks. This seems to be the sounds of soldiers moving in the forest. Let's observe them first. get through here we have to knock out one of the we have to knock someone out
Yeah, we've got to knock out this guy. Um, I guess that's it for now. Full focus right here. Full focus. Shit! Oh, I didn't realize this tower is... Of course, the tower... Is exposing it. Yeah. Because I hit him, everyone else is being alerted. So I should probably keep going down. You're the one I'm supposed to hit. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> Says everyone in the perimeter. Oh, gosh. It's just, it might just be my suspicion, but I feel like this abandoned radar here is really important. See what happens if we walk on it. A yellow armband. Hey, wait. What's up with this yellow armband? It's got some little text down there. I can't read it though, it's so small. The armband was found in a hidden corner near the radar. The logo on it was clearly visible. Must have seen that logo in the MID database before. Huh. Interesting. Wonder what that is. Four? Oh, you're right, 404. Interesting. I'm gonna have to take this guy out next turn. And we'll have to crawl over this way. Four four it is. I guess so. What's four four's armband doing over here? Very odd. Oh, I see. We have to shoot this guy when he walks over here.
Shit. God damn it. There's someone right there. Oh my goodness. Let's see what it looks like when I shoot the shoot the tranquilizer. Alright. Hmm. Once the patrols from the north are back, let's have a drink near our during our break, he says as he's sleeping. Your appetite for booze is getting bigger, Captain. <laughs> I guess. I guess he sleep talks. Oh crap. Looks like we need to be careful about the northern direction. That's not good. We have patrols that are gonna come back. That's no good. I guess we have to go like this. And on this side, what do we do about you? We gotta wait to be able to get that item. Oh wait, no, we don't we don't have to wait. Yeah, we don't have to wait. Oh wait, no, we do have to wait. I can't go up there. Well, Jeff D, we're gonna have to have you sit and wait. Can't use the tranquilizer here. Or maybe we can. Once they're here and here, we can treat them with the trank. It's good because we have plenty of tranquilizers. Mendo, you need to keep moving. When he's in this middle spot, we can put him to sleep. Must have had a brain fart or something just now. Um, what happened?
He went to, oh yeah. I, I wasn't supposed to go there. My bad. All right, we're good. How many more darts do we have? We have plenty of darts. Let's go. Which way are you guys gonna go? Ooh. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. We're gonna have to chill here for a little bit. Not enough AP to go in that wood. Putting soldiers to sleep with that Mosin Nagan. <laughs> She's the end or something? Uh, I guess so. I guess so. Wait, there's three of them. Oh, never mind. If I recall correctly, the next one should be over here. So let's walk this way. We're pretty close. That's interesting. How do we get this item? Um, we might have to go around here um, in order to get it. This is a purple item, so it's important. We need to get it. Mm. For now, I think we can just go down here. I 
I guess we can have Mendo grab this item, hit that switch, and then move here while we're waiting to for um, Atena to finish up. Yeah, Atena's got a lot cut out for her. Dude, you walk fast. No, we might have messed up. This guy's gonna spot him soon. Ooh, that's not good. I thought I could um, trank him as well, but this dude's standing right there. Well, that's not good. It's not good at all. Well, let's just hope it all works out. It probably doesn't. It's probably not gonna work out. It's probably gonna be really bad. Buddy. I messed up with the timing of the uh, of the tranks. All right, can you do it now? Um, enemy unit's gonna come this way. Then he's gonna walk this way again.
it's probably a bad spot to be. Uh, we'll see next turn if that's a bad place to walk. Yeah, it was a bad place. Yeah, I think this is uh, playing this on Challenge Plus would be awful. This specific map, it would be pretty bad. Stops there, so uh, maybe we'll try this again. And yeah, she's not shooting them with a the, uh, with a uh, Mosin. She's got a pistol for her tranks. Okay. Are you gonna? Yeah, you're gonna get notified. I don't think we can use tranks here. Enemy is going to be well here, here last time, right? Guess we'll just have to stand here. Maybe we can get these two black ones when we're there in these two corners. This is this area is really annoying. These enemy units are really annoying to deal with. I, I don't like this. I really don't like this. They're not letting me pass at all. I think for Jeff T, she's just gonna have to run right through them. No trank darts. Damn it! I left something up the mountain! I'll be right back. This fucking guy. Can't be here. I'll have to trank this sniper.
All right. Good. You know, I thought that Jefty was going to be on position, but she's... She's not. This area is just really annoying. Oh, it looks like we all need to be on the scanning devices at the same time. I guess we'll just have to have Mendo grab that item real quick. Jeff T is going to be the last one. Laser sight? A laser sight? Wait. Hmm. Interesting. I think next turn we we'll, might be able to run past them. Three, four. One, two, three. No, we can't. We need to tranquilize them right now. We need to tranquilize all four of them, actually. It's a good thing we have enough tranquilizers. Ah, here it is. I just realized the dude's out of range with our of our scanner. Cause he's too far down south. Okay, and now I think we can just run to the next point, hopefully. 
Fuck. I'm bad at this. That was the wrong save. Yeah, we just probably go back here. Do that again. Go there. Go there. Um, you're gonna go up, aren't you? Wait. Who's who's uh, who got alerted? Oh. What the? What's this item? This guy's standing watch. We need to get rid of this scout. Not again. Like if I put this guy to sleep, this guy is gonna be like, whoop, what's happening over here? If I don't do anything here, he's gonna wake him up. This crisscross is so annoying. I just realized something. I could have put some... some holographic gravel over here. And it would disrupt these guys' uh, patrol movements. They won't be able to walk as fast. Inside of the forest. Why didn't I think of that earlier? There's a guy down here that wants to move up, up and down. Yeah, why didn't I do that earlier? I am so stupid. Hmm. All right, let's look at this for, for a moment, right? Mm -hmm. 
where we put down our big scanner. Right? This guy's gonna move back up. We're gonna move there. Move there, and we're gonna move there. Yeah, I need to disrupt their movement somehow. Why didn't I think of this earlier? get him I don't have any magazines to throw down to distract them Uh, don't tell me I have to go all the way over here. I do. Uh, well, at least there's no time limit on this map. There's no time limit. I have to go all the way over here, travel, to be able to tranquilize him and then tranquilize him in order to get this item. I, I need that. Ugh. Well, this Atena's just gonna have to wait. I didn't do anything wrong here. Oh my goodness. This is so messed up. This is so messed up. All right. This is so messed up. I eat a shit. Huh? Wait, I what happened? What happened? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me there's someone over there, too. There is. I'm getting trolled so much. This is ridiculous. They just do not want me to get this item. They just really do not want me to get this item. I... I'm... Mmm... Mmm... Okay, this has made things really weird. 
He's trying to go back on his route, and now things are weird because I've dropped a bunch of rocks uh, where he should be walking. Just go around. Meanwhile, Antina's like, What the fuck is going on? I've been waiting here forever. What are those two doing? Uh, meanwhile, Mendo is getting hit by... Why is there so many enemies here? Any odds that Atna is Anja's daughter? Um, it would be highly unlikely. It would be extremely unlikely. to travel all the way over to uh, knock this guy out too. Mendo, hurry the fuck up! Alright, all we needed to do was drop some rocks on them. The walk back should be easier for Mendo after we knock everyone out. Oh my god. That was a... Uh... <laughs> my bad. Alright, um, Mendo. Alright, we put this guy to sleep and we can just travel through here. Oh. I completely forgot that I had the rocks. There we go, finally. I can just run normally. Now that there's a gap in there. Maybe you two. Fuck, fuck off. And we, uh. We almost uh, lost our S rank. We have one hypnotic syringe left we can use. All right, mission accomplished. All's well that ends well. The signal indicates that everyone has reached their destination. Let's quickly finish setting up the chip and meet at the rendezvous point. Yeah, easy. First try, baby. 
First try. ジップの設定は終わったんでしょ。モンドの合流を待つ必要はないんじゃない？ええ、もう接続を試みてるわ。どう？そうね。いいニュースと悪いニュースがある。それとおかしなニュースがどれから聞きたい？The Someone else is tracking. Wait, was it Carl? Someone else hacked it. And it was one of our troops. They're fresh. Uh, I so probably we don't find Carl in this run of the timeline. But in another world line, Jeff T's like, let's go find Carl. Maybe that's what, what the branch is gonna be. <sighs> この基地遠距離通信衛星を使用している衛星のシグナルとアクセス方法を解読できたも悪いニュースはその衛星がロレンの二十四式道軍事衛星マトリックスに接続されていること気づかれずに侵入するのは困難ねでも不可能じゃない
All set. Hush, the enemy is approaching. Look at those numbers. The Yorinci is desperate to get their desperate to get their hands on you, like a dog that's lost its bone. That's not funny at all. I'm not trying to be funny. Wait, they're sending in tanks. What? Yeah, as expected. This isn't what you said. Why is it different this time? Watch out! The tanks are starting to bombard us! How do they know of our position? Have we been exposed? It's too much firepower. We need a change of plans. Can't use the glider. Just jump down the slope first. Prioritize the enemies below. Yep, nope. Nope. We're running out of time. Mendo, take this grenade and throw it at the enemies below. After you throw it, we jump. That's it? That's it, I'll see you on the slope. You alright? Thank, thank goodness it's not too steep. Nothing's broken. That grenade took care of the enemies who've been hiding here. Let's get out of here while we still have time. You seem to know their defenses pretty well. It was just a hunch. Let's go. Let's not waste any time here. Yep, nope. Targets detected. Notify the armored units and go after in full pursuit. Yeah, the, the plans have just gone completely awry. Enemy troops are pursuing us from the east. Evacuate to the west immediately before they surround us. Ah, yep. We're boned. Oh, uh-oh. We're completely surrounded by the enemies. There's no escape. Can't be helped in. We just have to jump off. We have a much better chance of surviving a fall than being blasted to bits by tanks. <laughs> Jefty, you are you are acting so insane right now. You are acting so insane. Yeah, even the NPCs sound good. Are you crazy? There's no way to get into the base from here using a paraglider. It's a red zone below. The elids can tear you to pieces with their bare hands. I know, but it's better than falling into the hands of the enemies. Yo, what are we doing? Yo, <laughs> the enemies are coming closer. <laughs> What's included in the deluxe version? Um, DLC skins, uh, the original soundtrack, and some extra items. Though I don't think the items are that necessary. You guys jump first. My shield can still hold up, so I'll take the rear. Atena, you are not tanking two laser tanks. That's not how it works. Your shield cannot take that punishment. It seems like Atena. Yeah, yeah, buddy, Atena wa. Nanka. Roman to nenai. Sosets ga tsuki da na. Atena wa imo wa. Nanka. Jibun shitori de nokoru n da ro. Yeah. Seizon shi. Yeah. Koko de. Shinu no. Sir, two of them have jumped. She knows how to perfect parry, she'll be fine. 
It's a contamination zone there. It's a death wish. Hurry up and get rid of that woman so we can finish the mission. Yes, sir. I knew it was a bad idea. Oh, she's jumping too. Atuna and some idiot are argued with in middle school. <laughs> Have similar confidence in their shields. Hmm. She didn't try to reach out to Liga's mind, so they didn't run into a shrike. Oh, oh no, she broke her leg. It says the girl who walks barefoot in Frozen Tundra. Voice acting 100, OST 100, writing 100. Translation, eh, maybe it's like a 90. よし。骨を固定したま。そのまま動かないでくれ。俺の回復能力もかなりのものだと思ってたが、君の体の方が不思議だな。敵は汚染エリアまでは入ってこないようだ。ここで少し休もう。放射線量が高いけど、あんたは
to counteract Elid. Since Hollow City was located directly on top of the Hollow Relic site of, in Antarctica, AU scientists began research into anti-radiation gene therapy and vaccines at an early date. The stabilized Elid vaccine is now a requirement for all AU citizens. Every citizen must undergo at least one anti-radiation gene therapy treatment. Furthermore, newborns of the AU are given two rounds of treatment, one post-conception and another one at the age of one. After undergoing both sessions of anti-radiation gene therapy, the majority of the AU citizens exhibit immunity to low doses of collapsed radiation, enabling them to live long periods while exposed to mild levels of collapsed radiation. So yeah, everyone in the AU is somewhat immune to Elid. ナガクってどれくらい I'm not entirely certain. Have you forgotten? I'm fully immune. Southern, I've already explained. Uh, maybe you didn't hear earlier. In the deluxe edition, there are DLC skins for every character. And you also get some extra bonus equipment, so just extra grenades and health at the start of every chapter. Um, you also get the included um, original soundtrack of the game. I hope that answers your question. Please stop. Please stop spamming it. I will. I will mute you. No, I definitely saw her jump. Yes. You have like a limited amount of equipment. Every every item you have is one use. Yeah. Jefty is like only 16, but like physically she's in her 20s. Actually, she, she might not even be 16. She might like be 14 or something. Um, but yeah. Brain of someone in their, you know, Brain of someone in their 30s, <laughs> body of someone in their 20s, um, physical age of someone in their teens. How much fighting have you gone through? I don't know. I actually don't want to accumulate so much experience in killing. I had no choice. And eventually this is... Before I know it, this is how I ended up. わかるかもしれない。これが初めての任務なんだ。さっきロレン兵を撃ち殺した時なんか吐きそうになった。一体どうしたらそんなプレッシャーに耐えられるんだ。それは自分でもよくわからない。シェフティ。いや、ジェフ
She didn't ask for this. People just created her and she ended up having to live this sort of life. なんでそんなことを？いや、なんとなく。なんとなく。両親が君たちの研究に携わってたって聞いた。And in yeah, and in that case, that means Liga's involved as well. So I guess he's curious about Liga. And I guess he wants to know more about his parents. いや、言いたくないなら別にいいんだ。別に構わない。本当にあの二人の息子だもの。あんたには知る権利がある。実は君を見た時から予感があったんだ。何の根拠もないけど、君は俺の両親と関係あるんじゃないかって。Kind of knew that you had something to do with my parents. You know, the feeling I get this from this is like photons. Like Mendo probably met Jeffy a long time ago without realizing it. Kemp has always been trying to keep me off the field, yet suddenly he gave me an assignment. I knew something wasn't right. Yeah, absolutely. Turns out that Mendo is a... He very much is a nepotism hire. Kemp has always been trying to protect him and now he's like, no, you're gonna go meet your future wife. <laughs> go, son. That's such a yeah, so I said like I feel like people who pick up artists use that line a lot. Hey, haven't we met somewhere before? I'm, I'm sure we definitely met somewhere before. <laughs> Maybe like we're guided by fate or something. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, the Japanese says Three Goddess Project, not Gavarol. Yeah, why can't I be sent on a dangerous mission to meet a cute girl who will be my future wife? <laughs> yeah, wh why, why not me? Clearly Noel. And the English for some reason it's Noilu. Not why is it say Noilu? So so she's a flame individual. She's being devoured, controlled by a cell called a Shrike. Yeah. She's been eaten by the thing slash symbiote. She's been completely controlled by a cell called a Shrike. Yeah, they probably met when they were children. Shrike imitated Noel's appearance and turned her into a terrible monster. You can thank Omni and I for Noel. Sh shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh. A monster that never stops devouring and dividing. Yeah, it's, that's definitely the thing. That's the thing. Also, the symbiote. I don't know which one came first. Did the symbiote come first, or did the thing come first? Yeah, 
母体は思考と判断を司り、すべての分裂素体を操っている。So basically, there's one main, there's one big brain original body, and then there's a bunch of、uh, clones. 分裂素体たちは母体の栄養となる獲物を食らう、触手のようなものに過ぎない。そしてリゲルも。元はシュライクの分裂素体だったでもリゲルには自己意識があっただからあのウィリアムとかいうやつの手から奪って彼女を隠しただからリゲルは特別だとそう唯一無二の存在私とリゲルは意識を共有しているけど同時に独立した個体でもあるあんたの父親が作った意識遮断装置によってリゲルの脳はシュライクの母体意識の影響を受けずに住んでいる父さんがそんなものを作ってたなんてそうそのおかげで私とリゲルは救われた頭にくるあいつは私がリゲルを見捨てることはないと見越してシュライクの分裂素体を送り込んだ Wait, he saved you too, huh? 今回は場所を特定されなかったけどそれも時間の問題私でも分裂素体を倒すのには手間取る普通のやり方じゃ殺せないその分裂素体とやらどこかで聞いた覚えが rings a bell.、Hmm. あんたはまだ見たことないはず少なくとも今回は<笑>足の傷が回復した What? That was quick. もう歩けるのかあんたの処置のおかげで回復が早まったもう時間がない終わったらゆっくり話すからなんだか気持ちが悪いなもう体に影響が出始めたのいや体調が悪いんじゃないただなんとなくどう言ったらいいかわからないがとにかく不気味なんだ待ってくれあれはわからない。Some kind of ドローンのようなものか。ドレーン軍はもう近くに来てるみたいだね。周辺のケイ用物質が明らかに減ってる。この方向で間違っていないはず。でも、各エリアの放射線量にムラがありすぎる。計測器がなくてもわかるのか。匂いでわかるの。She can smell radiation? コーラップス粒子に匂いなんてあったか。近くで浄化灯が稼働しているせいかもしれない。She does. She does. ignore him. 放射線量にムラがあるのもうなずける。つまり隔離壁が近いってことだな。アテナへ連絡できるか試してみる。通信回線も回復してきたみたいだ。この方向に進もう。歩きながら通信を試して。なあ、ここはまだ汚染エリアだけど、植生も少しずつ回復しているようだ。おかしい汚染エリアの植物はここまで成長しないはず Uh-oh. 前もこんな光景をいや普段は汚染エリアなんて入らないけどそうだろうな被爆の心配がなくても息袋がうろついてるし、うん、ジェフティ来てくれ一面花の海だ隔離エリアだこんな美しい景色が見られるとは、oh, no. These are not normal flowers. Oh no, these are not normal flowers. Mendo, get away. You're gonna die here. Wait, 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 Exhibit noticeably lower radiation levels thanks to the plant's absorption capabilities. However, the radiation concentration in the area rises dramatically when the flowers bloom. Research has indicated that Epiphylum releases an extreme high dose of radiation at the moment of blooming, making it extremely dangerous. Epiphylum? Epiphylum? You've never heard of them? <laughs> 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 Wait, 
蓄えたコーラップス粒子を一気に放つんだ。<笑><笑>フフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフ I don't, I don't remember how to sing it. Where is it? Shattered Connection. Connection. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know, I don't have the lyrics on me. <laughs> だとすると近くに生き向くのがいるかもしれない。タイトルは本当にコネクション。はい、知ってます。Let's see, let's see. Can't find the lyrics. Can't find the lyrics. あのまま踏み込んでたら、あんたも今頃、生き向くの仲間入りだよ。放射線量が不安定なのはこれが原因だったんだ数が少なくて助かった迂回するよお姉ちゃん、oh, uh -oh. Well, I guess the, the strikes are already here Yeah, I can't find the, the lyrics for Shattered Connection Unfortunate I'm sure a certain daughter is enjoying playing in the flower fields. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not legal. Dumbass. <laughs> ミスクイク。今シュライクの分裂素体が何体近くにいるかまだわからない。それにロレンの部隊も <laughs> yeah, he means business. It's already bad enough. What else can we do? Oh, he said, I don't know. 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 I do あの女は好きじゃないけど、舐められるのはもっと尺だし。約束して、アテナを助けた後は絶対リゲルを探し出すって。ああ、約束する。全力で君の力になってやる。アテナが待っている。急ごう。パルミケンセルズプランティングエピ
Yo. <laughs> we look at that. I, I guess she's in combat. That's why... Um, it's telling us we're probably going to be with her in the next mission. That's why she's here. But like, she's not actually with us yet. So that's why um, she's like that. But we can give her some upgrades while we're here. Increase tenacity or... I feel like tenacity would be really good for fighting against certain bosses. Since we're in a contaminated zone, I think probably what's going to happen is everyone's going to get some debuffs. So we have a another laser now. A K1S LD plus LD laser sight. Hmm. That's probably like a flashlight and laser. Increase accuracy when counterattacking. Defensive counterattack. Increase damage by 20% when making normal attacks against enemies in a straight line. Or increase accuracy against enemies who are low HP. Or we can have her sniping do more damage. Next normal attack deals 30% more damage when normal attack crits. Next normal attack does 30% more crit damage. And why do, the translation's a little bit wonky here and there. Let's upgrade the python. I feel like we might need it for fighting the next boss. Mm. Though getting the OS key might be good as well. Mm. See, upgrading every everything can be really good with upgrades. So I'm just not sure what we should use. Uh, hmm. You know, let's upgrade the, the rifle. Let's go with let's go with a grenade upgrade. Hmm. Actually, no. Let's go with a painkiller upgrade. I feel like we need need that. Let's go. Oh, this place looks nasty. Can't believe they went so deep into enemy territory when the when the signs of enemy troops are everywhere. Atena should be just up ahead. I'll double check.
Mendo, are you guys nearby? Um. We're not too far from the coordinates we received earlier. Are you still at the same coordinates? Yeah, I just cleared a bunch of enemies, but reinforcements are closing in, so it doesn't look too optimistic here. Understood. Hang in there. We'll be there soon. Alright, be careful. This is not good. It's confirmed. She's just below the slope ahead. Yeah, the enemy troop uniform's ability to resist collapsed radiation is very limited. So we need to seize that opportunity and settle things quickly. We spotted the white haired target. Let's go. Take them all down. Oh, shoot. Deal a total of 1,000 damage to enemy units using the Epiphalum terrain. All allied units enter critical at most two times. Apparently this game this mission is a skill check. Wait, who the fuck is that? Oh. Oh boy. His his gun's got like mini rollers on it. How heavy is that thing? Attack 17. Rapid fire. Perform five consecutive attacks on the same target with normal attacks. Okay, that's a lot of hits then. That's like 60 something. No, that's like... That's like 90 something damage. Oh, that's not good. 90 something? Five. Five, five, five. Uh. Yeah, that's, no, that's like 80 something. Right? Yeah. That's, that's really not good. Terrain details. Epiphilia radiation. If strike unit is attacked by incendiary bomb in this terrain, the target will receive radiation overdose. Festering erosion. Allied human units take damage equal to 10% of their max HP at the end of their turn. Um, enemy human units take damage equal to 30% of their max HP at the end of the turn. Deal a total of 1,000 damage to enemy units using Epiphalum terrain. 30% of their max HP. So apparently this game, this mission is the hard wall. Oh, yeah, this is not good. I guess we have to sneak through this uh, bridge. Oh, gosh. These chunky boys have a lot of HP. I appreciate that the normal troops still have very little HP, although no, some of them have a lot. Scouts have a decent amount. Okay, um... This is not good. Snowfield. We don't want to be standing in Epiphalum. It increases evasion, but it lowers our accuracy. And also hurts us. Ah, shit. I forgot to bring my items. Hey, a review. Unable to pursue Javon, Jeff Diego orchestrated an explosion. Following Javon's orders, Atena reluctantly agreed to assist the two. On the cliff outside the base, the trio originally planned to lure out the main URNC forces and then infiltrate the base. However, enemy's counterattack proved more intense than expected. After being cornered by a tank, the group had no choice but to jump. I need to- I'm like, where, where's my grenades? Where's all my stuff? Um, alright, let's put away this stupid dart, we don't need this. Okay. 
don't need any scanners either. Uh, maybe we'll bring some scanners just in case. Special braised pork. Uh, I don't know if I want to use that. Oh yeah, we're, we're out of inventory space. I don't think I want to use RC bombs. Not in this map. It's too difficult to group enemies together. Alright, we'll go with this. Shockwave might be useful here, actually. We can no longer... We can no longer uh, one-shot enemies with grenades, so that's not really that useful. Yeah, painkiller is probably a good one to bring. Or even the shockwave grenade. We might want to push people into the more flowers. Now let's upgrade our health. Let's upgrade Python? No. It moves in. Alright, save. Okay. <laughs> we actually have our stuff this time. Let's do this. He would have gotten filtered many times prior. Yeah. Why must they always carry with a chainsaw grip instead of a regular MG? It's because it's really heavy. They want to make sure you understand how heavy it is. All right. Um. What do we do here? What do we do? Oh jeez, there's crystals forming around this tank. Well, at least if we're inside the houses, it seems that we won't get any radiation. plate. What can we make with that? We can make another turret and another barbed wire barricade. Yeah, I see what has to be done here. We need to set up barricades, I think, 
so that she doesn't die. Using the Piflum terrain. Okay. Since it's asking us to blast them with the with our flame grenades, let's do just that. Actually, I probably probably get rid of these guys. I'm using some. No, actually, I'll watch them. I want to see how much damage they take walking through the flowers. Alright, let's... Nice! Oh, and because the remains of the Pafilthalum, right? It's easy, you can walk through it really easily now, but it's treated like it's a road. So it's, there's very low evasion here, but it's actually kind of, it's kind of good for you, I guess, in a way. We might want to, yeah, we need to get inside the buildings to give us cover. There's a bunch of enemies everywhere. Oh man, look, that guy stomps. Okay, we actually want to burn the area around her. So that they have nowhere to um, hide. You know, they won't be able to evade her attacks. Oh god! You motherfucker! I forgot they had snipers. Do houses heal in the OG bakery? Yes. They do. Yeah, you think you're so slick shooting me through the fields? An asshole. Which else does he have? 60 HP. I can kill him using a turret. We'll save ourselves the trouble. Always got to make sure we keep track of what the this guy's got a five attack range on his minigun we got to get rid of him got to get rid of him but he has so much HP oh that's not good I think I know what to do though.
We're gonna do a little funny, funny thing. We're gonna do something kind of funny. Ha ha funny. Yes. Danger premonition, no. Supporting fire. Oh! What else can we do? He needs to heal badly. Um, we don't have a time limit, so that's good. We don't have a time limit. It's not good. Next turn. Alright, next we deal with you. I'm gonna put some barricades in these buildings. We don't want them taking up positions within the buildings, because then they'll be really annoying to root out. Like these snipers aren't moving so that's good if they're not moving then we don't have to worry about them hmm Gain taunt, um, become prior target individuals within enemy's movement range. Yeah, let's use taunt. Increase armor by 20%. You're at the filter stage, I am. It's actually kind of exciting. I think I'll be okay though. I think I'll be okay.
Wait, I stunned them. Why are they moving so much? Uh, that's not good. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Like, Atena's okay, but... Jeffy got beat real bad. So many of them. Okay, um, damn it, Jeffy. And we set up our bomb incorrectly. Damn it. Well. How can I gonna get filtered? Zero out of ten shitty game artificial difficulty. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Boku wa daizoubu da. It's really satisfying. Not satisfying is getting my ass beat. Atena though? Atena's fine. She's doing just fine. Let's set some fire to the enemies again. She's doing just fine. Mm, what's this? Okay, every tender cinder. Yeah, she's she's gonna be okay. I forgot, I didn't notice there was a building there as well. Atena's good, but she's not going to survive that armored fellow with the big gun. We need to get to her fast. I guess this is the part where we use a shockwave grenade.
Man. Oh my goodness. Come on, please. Time for the gas grenade again. <coughs> Gives you twenty eight damage. We need to build another... Atuna oh, does not have any more AP, but it's fine. Let's build another turret. You'll be fine. Um, you know what? You can stand here. It's fine. Since we're at it, we might as well build some more stuff. <laughs> like some more painkillers. Hey there, Chibity. How's it going? Apparently, I'm at the filter stage of this game. This is the one where we'll figure out if I'm a good gamer or not. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm I'm trying my best not I thought your life was all pain. Yeah, it was it is all pain. It most certainly is. My life is nothing but pain. Pain, Peko. Out of range. God damn it, Mendo. Um, hmm. Start counter sniping.
trying to just get skill issued. Shut up. I'm I'm a I'm good at this game. For real, guys. For real, for real. I'm I'm great at this game. I can't be beat. No way, not me. No uh. Definitely not. Mm. Can't shoot from here. Might as well build some more stuff. Um, another incendiary grenade. Ah, that asshole. Occupying those houses, we need those. And we throw something at him. Burn him out. do that. Mm, it's just mad bomber. Let's do it. Increase accuracy and range by one. Use this well. Oh, we can't throw it at far. Um. Yeah, sure. Here we can put down some more. Some more barricades. Give them some more stuff to chew on. These guys are totally not, they seem to be totally okay with just walking around in a, ra in a heavily irradiated area. They're just okay with that. I'm not sure why, but seems they're, they're okay with it. Let's put this turret away. Can't, oh wait, we can use mechanical rampage. That could be good. Actually, let's use it right now. Seems like a decent time. It's shit, nerds. Take care of the last sniper. Is 
Is that coughing in the game? Yes, that's because we've been um, using tear gas on the enemies. They're not having a good time of it. Make another decoy. Um, you know what? Maybe we should have Atena run away from here. There's no reason Atena needs to stay in this building. We've crushed all the snipers up here. We can have her move back. In which ways we can start bombing the enemies. Uh, when they're hiding in these flowers. Tear gas the way. That's not tear gas, that's just gas. Tear gas is white. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. It's tear gas. I assure you. I assure you, what we're using is tear gas. Okay, it's tear gas. And nothing else. There, It's nothing else. It's not... It's. It could only ever be tear gas, alright? I hope I don't regret doing this. Hey, we got... Hey, we can make another upgraded turret. Um, shit, we don't have anyone... In <laughs> we need to recall some of our turrets first. For legal purposes, it's tear gas and not horrible blister agent. Yeah, it's it's absolutely tear gas, guys. You know, the description says cannot be medicated, cannot be healed. Um, it's absolutely tear gas. I assure you. If it kills, it's phosphorus. No, 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 Maladus, Maladus, you don't understand. It couldn't possibly be that, no. That's crazy talk. Hey, what's going on? Mendo, according to the latest intercepted intel, a fresh batch of enemy reinforcements will arrive in 10 minutes from the northeast. Got it, we'll rendezvous with you as quickly as possible. Jeff T. No need for more words, eliminating these roadblocks in front of us as quickly as possible. Yeah, mm-hmm. Crap. They're gonna come from here. Well, good thing is we don't need to go to this area. Though we might need to clear these enemies and run past here. They've got a convenient oil drum here. I don't know why they put that oil drum there, because there's no way I could have had Atna go through that way. There must be more enemies coming in. Not just from the northeast, but from the south. Right, we gotta keep on going. Meanwhile, Mendo, I'm gonna have you... Mm. I 
I refuse to use Jeff T. No, no, you have to. You must. But you must. Six. There we go. mine here. What difficulty? I'm on normal difficulty actually. I could have tried doing a harder difficulty but um, I didn't want our streams to go on too long. So I left it a little bit easier. These guys are a little bit smarter, they're not walking through the flowers. They're purposely trying to avoid staying in the- oh! The central army is also on the way. Everyone stay sharp, we can't afford to throw away the face of the local garrison. Yeah, if only they had a name instead of just local garrison. Ah, they've got a sniper with them! Fuck off! They've got a sniper. Uh, there's one more minigun dude here. Ooh. Do not like... This blew up. How much, How far would it explode? Two. It could hit here and here. That's a terribly placed... What we would have to do is we would have to blast them here with a shockwave grenade. Out of range. Out of range. Let me get rid of those snipers. There's no cover here. We have to make her stand here. I'll have Jeffy move down. You know, local garrison 105, home of the fighting 105th foot sloggers. <laughs> it's game journalism. I'm not on game journalism mode. Shut up. I'm just on normal difficulty. I'm not on casual. Seiya was playing on casual. Fucking asshole. Uh, trying to get through the story as quickly as possible, but I think I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy my time with the story. So I'm not going to do something as silly as that. Um, 
You know, we could actually have um, Atena go back over here, lower the enemies close, and then just burn them all. It's not the worst idea. Snipers over here. Scary, scary, scary. Don't like him. I have my reasons for playing casual. <laughs> Want to get through the story quick for reasons. For reasons, yes. It's not because you're bad at games. <laughs> Let's see. What can I do here? I guess we can put down the turret. I mean, game certainly has a challenge you're looking for it, but it shouldn't totally gate the story. Yeah, no, this is totally doable. I don't know why people call it the... I don't know why people are calling this the... The... The, um... What's this? Thing? I don't know why people are calling this the... 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 The wall. It's not that bad. At least so far, anyway. This is totally doable. Totally doable. One more trip mine. The Dark Souls of Gaming? No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> the Dark Souls of Gaming? No. Casual is already challenging later on. I don't say that lightly. Oh no. <laughs> not good. You're at the first wall chapter. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. You don't need to tell me that. You know, it'd be totally worth it to just murder this sniper. With a one grin with our level two turret. Even if we lose the level two turret, it'd be worth it just to get him out of the way. Bridges. How much damage? 66. You know what? Um, none of these other enemies can attack me.
Use a decoy. Use a decoy and some smoke, I guess. How far can you run? Not that far. Actually, let's use some gas. Yeah, let's use some gas. Um, which, by the way, guys, this is tear gas. And nothing else. It's tear gas. It is just tear gas. Yep. If you think chapter 3 has walls, wait till you reach chapter 4. Oh, how many chapters are in this game? Wait, wrong button. I'm supposed to recall that one. I forgot these elite scouts they dodge the first attack how annoying Gonna take some, we're gonna take a risk here. This is such a dumb idea. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? This is a bad spot to be. Oh yeah, no, this is a terrible idea. Oh shit. What's your attack range again? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is a bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. I shouldn't have done this. I really should not have done this. Good luck, Jeff D. You're gonna need it. It's not a war crime, bro, trust me. It, it is a war crime. 
I mean, it's not. Yes, it's not. Just trust me. Ooh. Ow. Uh, okay, I'll take that compensator. Thank you. Not good. Um... You know what, let's have Mendo shoot him. Yeah, so let's have him shoot him. And he should be dead by the next turn. We gotta run. Oh, hey, the sniper died. Uh, I guess he died from standing in the flower. Yeah, J uh, Mendo, you gotta move. You gotta move it. Thirty-four damage. Another one. Um, guess we'll have to build a simple construct here. Killer. All right, he'll be fine. Damn it. All right, Jeff T, you're not in a good spot, actually. Can't kill him. Last map of chapter three kicked my ass. Oh man, I feel like I'm going relatively fast, but only as a streamer. Everyone else is probably going lightning speed compared to me. Support fire. How did you miss twice? One short. We kill another enemy. Can't. What other options do we have for you? I know. Put down a standee here. And either the sniper or the machine gun will attack it. Like, look at that. Look at its dumb face. Wouldn't you want to shoot at that? <laughs> Time to ult and pray? Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Alternatively, I have another idea.
she will take the hits. Meanwhile... Get rid of that sniper. Uh, I think we're pretty good. Unless Mendo gets wrecked again. Please don't get wrecked, Mendo. Why is there an oil drum all the way over here? I don't understand why. We can't use that. Actually, we didn't need her to take the hits there. Could have just let you push all the way in there ca and casual. You know, this isn't casual. It's just is not casual. Um, Mendo, can you take it? Can you hack it here? No, you can't. There's too many enemies. Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll throw down another grenade. You'll have Mendo run down here. Yeah. Let's do another somewhat cowardly maneuver with some more tear gas. Hey guys, it's your favorite tear gas. <laughs> Hope you like it. Choke on it. And we'll have him run down here. Gas and run, yep. Gas and run. Alright. Now we can take our time with this big guy. I don't like that there's another sniper nearby. I really don't like that. Really fumbled that one. Oh. My goodness. Everyone's fumbling their shots. Gas, gas, step on the mustard gas. It really do capture the feeling of overwhelming odds when you have to hit and run, yeah. This game is very much um, guerrilla tactics. Although this match, in this battle, it's not very, not a lot of guerrilla. There's no stealth here. Wait, there was another one of them? I thought I killed him! Why are you still alive? Why are you still alive? That's what I want to know. How are you still standing? STF tactical shock, or stock. 
No, the MG was 1 HP. Oh, 1 HP in a dream. He had a wife. Um, unfortunate. Okay, what's in here? Oh, hey guys, another lore dump. Investigation into the origin of religions. Ugh. The disintegration of old faiths and the rise of emerging religions. Rosartris Monthly, July 2073. The end is come, but not in the way that all the scriptures describe it. The events of Balon Island in 2030 destroyed not only half the world, but also religious beliefs on a global scale. When the end really came, no one was able to correctly predict its arrival. There was no salvation, no paradise for refuge. What waited for the believers were the raging Elid and war that swept the globe. It was only a matter of time before those fates were doomed to collapse. Before the outbreak of World War III in 2045, the United Nations conducted its last sense of, hum of humanity. According to the report, 75% of the world's population was atheist, another 20% was agnostic, only 5% still adhered to their religious beliefs. Mass disillusionment towards religion, fa religious faiths also became fuel for chaos and destruction. Humanity relinquished the concept of self-redemption. People became demons that fought to the bitter end, only for its own interests. This was one of the fundamental reasons that led to the increasing extreme policies of various governments leading out to the outbreak of World War III. The disintegration of old faiths was inevitable. To everyone's surprise, However, some new religions still managed to arise and spread amidst the fires of World War III. Although these new faiths did not emerge from to form a unified inter-regional structure, they still had major influence on the reconstruction of the post-war world order. The most interesting thing about these religions is that they shared some intellectual similarities. All of them were highly eschatological in, na in nature and the philosophies were concerned with questions such as the end of human society and the means by which it could be accomplished. Wait, they're all death cults. Not just death cults, they're all like... Um... Trying to bring about the complete end of the end? It's already the apocalypse, you just want to kill everyone now? Contrary to the premise of divine salvation, as preached by the old school religions, these new faiths rejected the idea of being saved by the Almighty. One of the most common notions among them was that the Elid patients represented a state of transcendence after death, which might have been derived from the nostalgia of World War III survivors for the loved ones whom they had lost to the Yellow Zone contamination. When one abandons thinking about God and theistic philosophy, these faiths are not so much religions as the lost straws that des the desperate cling to. Origins of Paradius. Rosardris Monthly, 2070 something. After 2055, open opposition to the post World War order in Western Europe's green zones had largely disappeared. The post, I guess, the anti Rosardrist people had completely uh, dis vanished. The post-war decade of reconstruction and economic construction. Okay, that's... Could you just say economic and... You could just say that post-war reconstruction. You don't need to say economic construction. Had essentially buried the elements which could have given rise to ultranationalism. However, the Central European Yellow Zone still harbored cults and terrorist organizations who were linked with black market and other underworld organizations. Again, you don't need to do this twice which frayed the relationships between uh, Green and Yellow Zones. After several targeted sweeps across organized by the Pan-European Military Alliance and the Neo-Soviet Union in 2055 and 2058, most of these groups disappeared from the Yellow Zones. However, an unusual and mysterious organization that posed a serious threat to Europe's post-war peace suddenly arose in the Yellow Zones in 2060, a la Girls Frontline 1. Paradius Delinde Est. <laughs> I say we kill all the Paradius.
Also, how did you pronounce Paradius? Puradius? It's probably just um it's probably just um a slip of my tongue. <laughs> Suddenly Kane. <laughs> Suddenly Kane. Right. Kane lives! <laughs> Uh, basically, the Church of Adam started. Mm. As if a harsh time wouldn't engender more religious further. Yeah, these are not. These these cults are not about surviving the apocalypse. No, they're about bringing about the end of the world for real this time. <laughs> Parodius, that shooter with the bunny girls. Is that the one where like you're standing? You're like a stick man standing on a paper airplane. I remember playing that in, on the PS1 over two decades ago. Oh man. <laughs> Ministry for State Security of German Democratic Republic Foreign Intelligence Service, Balkan Section. 2060 something. Application for Operation Cornerstone of Peace. Major Kane Schwaben? Oh, it's, it's Jason. Yo. He's back. Kane lives! <laughs> oh my gosh. Agent K is back. Damn. Uh, the following content requires high level authorization to access. Apply approved. Was this the. I don't know. Um, was Operation Cornerstone of Peace in Girls Front Line 1? Was that one of the events? It's a combination- oh, you got it all wrong. It's it's a combination of Paradise and Deus. Yeah. Paradis. 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 Oh my god. Shut up. I'm not gonna say Paradis, it takes too long. It's Paradis. Okay, um... I'm just gonna keep letting them run through the... the, um, poison gas. <laughs> We're gonna continue to fight cowardly. Jeff is just gonna- or Mendo's just gonna keep on running. Nothing wrong with that. We'll just let them die to flowers. <laughs> Yes, yes. Kay? Hello there, Sarah. Yes, it's Kay. Everyone's favorite character, Agent K. He's alive and well. Take care of the rest of them. I feel like there should have been another um, secret item somewhere here. We haven't been able to find it. Or maybe I did pick it up. Lock here. I feel like we need to be here because I, I see a red drum here. There has to be a reason for that. There has to be a reason. Shall I give you a hint? Oh god. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and give me a hint. Oh, they're going after the barricade, really? Paradius. That's not a good hint. We know they're attacking Paradius. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. There's, there's a bunch of them.
and you don't see it. Is there a paradius shaped building somewhere here? Parallel and deuce. Para and deuce. Not deus, deuce. Um, hmm. I feel like I might be missing. I guess I don't see it, huh? Turn off this danger indicator. Uh, no, I... Hmm. Nein, no. Hakan nein. Nope, I, I don't see it. I guess I don't see it. Huh. Is that the danger flowers? That is the danger flowers. Hello there, or overseer. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Another hint. Fine. Gladiator. Oh. Um. Hmm? Did they move it? Yeah, there's nothing here. There's nothing here! You lied to me! You lied! You, why would you lie? Yeah, maybe it's in one of these houses. Why did you lie to me, Seiya? It's not in here. Oh, I guess they moved it. I guess they moved it. Right. Uh, of course. Atena, are you okay? Yeah, you came right on time. I thought you'd left me behind. I was planning to. But you reverse collapsed the relay station. The reverse collapsed relay station is still with you. Are you hurt? I'm fine thanks to the shield and the debris here acting as my cover. Never thought I'd be happy to see you. It's in the middle of the flowers. Which flowers? There's a lot of flowers. Don't be happy just yet. I can feel the mitotic specimens closing in on us from behind. Mitotic specimen? You just have to know it's an enemy who has Jeffy's incredible self-regeneration capabilities. It's not just self-regeneration, but there's no time. More and more troublesome bastards. It looks like Tasa's old nemesis, the werewolf commando team, are also in the vicinity. Those bastards are much more formidable than the local garrison. It's really hard to shake them off once they have their eyes on you. That's right, that drone! I knew that looked familiar! Why would those special forces be here? Are they a big deal or something? The werewolves are the creme de la creme of the URNC army. Both their skills and gear are top notch. On top of that, they're equipped with thermoptic camouflage. It's extremely hard to detect them. Sound like bad news. Hope we don't run into them. 
afraid that's not possible. Our encounter is written in the stars, fully immune individual. Who's that? The radio. She's broadcasting on all frequencies. Good, it seems like you can hear us. I'm the vice captain of the fearsome third detachment of the werewolf commando team. Here are orders to capture you. Lift your heads and you'll see me. I can barely see the figure. What should we do? Should we attack? Don't jump the gun. Keep observing. Agreed. There may be commandos using thermoptic camouflage lurking nearby. And... What the frick is she wearing? What are you wearing, lady? Ah, uh, it's been such an amusing day today. Didn't expect you to take down so many of the incompetent imbeciles with just the three of you. I finally found some Antarctican rats that have some skills. You want to reload? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> However, it's unfortunate that your good luck has run out today. It's your great misfortune to have run into me. None of my prey has ever escaped. Shut up. Just shut up. Start fu Shut up and fight. But don't worry. I don't plan on wasting my effort killing you. I'll leave this menial task to this adorable little puppet. Ta-da! That's your cue, Miss Puppet. Just to warn you, she is quite a nasty piece of work in every sense of the word. So try your best not to kill her. Here, try your best to kill her. Liga. No, I can't establish connection. But I know she's Liga. Hmm? She's your little sister? But she looks completely different from the girl in the photo. All of that monster's mitotic specimens are formed of Shrike cells. Their physical appearance is merely a mimic of their consciousness. The progenitor has consumed Liga's consciousness and assimilated her body. I knew it. The neural inhibitor isn't on her head. What do you mean? Without the neural inhibitor, Liga's psyche cannot remain on the surface level of consciousness. Right now, Liga is no more than a mitotic specimen. Where's the neural inhibitor? I don't know. Wait, Shrike cells? The same Shrike that devastated half of Varsava? Your sister is made of that thing? Don't tell me you're also. No. I'll never accept Shrike cells. There's no one in the world that hates it more than I do. Don't worry about Lega. She won't be a threat as long as her mind is free from the progenitor's control. I can't believe we went through a flames of hell just to rescue a Shrike. Your sister. She exudes an aura that makes my blood run cold, even from a distance. A bodysuit? Yeah, I can I can see that she's wearing a bodysuit, but... It's... It's a little exposed, you know? Why is she just standing there? The progenitor is calculating every possibility. Once calculations are complete, she'll move at lightning speed. As a shrike, Lika is extremely dangerous. Ordinary humans are no match for her. We must first blast off her limbs to emote... Yeah, we're just going to blast off your sister's limbs. Otherwise, none of us are going to come out of this alive. But she's your sister. Of course I know that she's my sister. But if we don't do that, she'll tear us into pieces. Shrike cells are highly sensitive to temper high temperatures. Flamethrowers are a necessity in the lab. But the weapons we have on hand won't reach such high temperatures. We need a different approach. Draw her to a bed of epiphalums and throw an incendiary grenade at her before opening fire. The burning epiphalums will release a large amount of radiation. Shrike cells exposed to such intense collapse radiation will rapidly silicify. After silicification, the Shrike cells' regeneration rate slows down. It's at this point that shooting at her will cause damage. As long as the damage is significant enough, the Shrike's regeneration capabilities will be limited for a short period of time. This is the only way to immobilize her. If we can mobilize her quickly, I'll be able to sustain Lika's consciousness. Are you sure about doing this to Liga? I'm certain. Have you forgotten what I told you before? My totic specimens can't be killed. Our weapons will barely make a scratch. Give me some time. I'll definitely reawaken Liga. Liga, I'm sorry. Hang in there for just a bit longer. Hang in there a bit longer and it'll be okay. Attack calculations completed. Commence and capture. 
Are you finally ready to move? Go! Tear them to pieces! Oh, and remember to leave the fully immune individual's body intact. Oh, no. Just the head will do. After all, you monsters can regrow your bodies. <laughs> She's coming. Focus on the fight. Prepare for battle. Ah, oh, shit. Liga was originally a product of the Shrike that split from the Regenerator. Uh, she was restored to the form of Shrike in this state, while her own consciousness was forged to plunge into a deep sleep. Agile and with a diverse set of, diverse set of combat skills, Liga's near indivisibility stems from the properties of the Shrike cells. Only by burning the epiphalums beneath her feet, unleashing radiation particles, can her special abilities be suppressed. Terminal HP, high, highest attack. Oh, shoot. What the heck is this? They're giving us a chance to... Make stuff. Looks like she's a Zoid's Gajinka. <laughs> Welcome to the filter. This is the filter? I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I probably should have healed before this though. But I'll be okay. I'll be a-okay. Unfortunately we lost our camouflage standee so that's a problem. Probably should have healed before this. And the crazy one looks hotter. Um, so we were saying there's a hut above a field. Oh, it's this one, right? North of the hut, to the left of the gladiator. North of the hut, to the left of the gladiator. It's in the field of flowers. It's in the middle of the flowers. Field above the gladiator. Okay, it's field above the gladiator. Oh, it's... Is it over there? That's a very hard place to spot. Red label. This tattered red label's barcode couldn't be verified even after scanning it several times. Alter. I actually don't know which, what this one is. What is this? Yeah, let's distract these guys for a little bit longer while we heal. A Naito tag? Oh. Huh. Interesting.
Very interesting. Was it a tag from a name again? Oh, hmm. Strange that this would be here considering none of GFL won't happen in this region. Yeah. Very interesting. Trip mines probably won't do anything. It should be fine though, we... Our stun grenades can deal with strikes. Survival type attributes are nullified, yeah. Make some more painkillers. I'll be okay. I'll be perfectly fine. I don't think I need the RC bombs. Probably. But you know, just in case. Like you never know. It's 11 a.m. here. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It's I've almost been going for five, six hours. Shoot, this was supposed to be a quicker stream. Um, yeah, let's try to get this over and done with. The push is the newest strat here. Push. Oh, push her into flowers. The beaters figured out how to work with her AI. Yeah, I see. Let's see, how do we do with this? Bone blade, uh, 35, but she can attack twice, right? Smash, uh, deal additional damage equals to 24% of the target's max HP. That's not good. Passing through. Pass through enemy units while moving. Psychic awareness. Um. Evades all damage. Special condition. If attacked by incendiary you regret one in Piflum. Psychic awareness will be nullified. Um. Immune to abnormal status effects for oration or overdose. Burns all Piflums within 3x3. Radius at the start of the action. Extraordinary antibodies. Area detection. Expose all units without visual range, including stealth units. Extreme speed. Make an additional action at the end of action. Wait, she can attack three times? One. Two, three. Oh no, oh she can attack three times, that's bad. Blood drain. 75% of the damage dealt will be absorbed to recover HP. That's what <laughs> Yeah, that's that's not that's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. Well Or we're gonna have to use Or 
All we can do is have... Hmm? We can have Atena taunt her. Yeah, we can have Atena taunt her. Taunt and lure and send and kill, yeah. That's what I thought. One damage potion. Uh, the next attack taken inflicts only one damage. Incendiary grenade. Probably another incendiary grenade. Fragmentation grenade. Okay. All right. Um, how much HP does she have? A thousand. Um. Yeah, that's not good. Don't have enough SP for mechanical rampage. That's bad. That's bad. That's really bad, actually. That's actually really bad. AP. Oh. oh. I guess we'll just start with this then. Let's just see what happens if I try to shoot her. Ah, of course. What? Uh. Oh great, she isn't even in the spot we need her to be in. She's not even in the spot we need her to be in. God damn it. Your opening position is wrong. Yeah, okay. Mm. If she's gonna die, then I'm not gonna bother using any skills. What if I told you you can body block her so she only attacks from one side? Probably. I still have my. Yeah, I have these here. Even shoot her from there. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Um. that she's gonna get knocked out no matter what unless I use a simple construct Maybe she'll survive this time. Oh, she only hit once this time. Interesting. Oh, I, I think it's because she can't attack from the same spot twice. Is that why? Right, let's, uh, let's test this out. Why don't we? Hope there's no friendly fire. Um. Radiation overdose. Psychic awareness is nullified. Alright, it's time to hit her. Maybe I should use a gas grenade as well. Would it even work on her? Mm. No, it doesn't work. Uh, what we can use is our stun grenades. Survival type attributes. What are survival type attributes? Blood drain? Now we'll just try it out. If only we could lure her next to one of these. Oh, maybe we should have lured her next to an oil drum. And then use an incendiary grenade. Um, yeah, we we do nothing to her. We do like no damage. In this case, 48 damage. We have no more turrets. We have no more turrets. Ah, oh, they must have broke our turrets. And you, you're just up here, watching like an asshole. Um. A, what a ridiculous looking weapon. Um, Special Forces Skull. What is up with these guns? Look how short the barrel is. Yeah, I don't I don't like these guys. Audience, just an innocent bystander cannot be damaged. Refraction counter gain stealth at the start of allied turn. Just an innocent bystander. Alright, um, yeah, well. We're still taunting, right? We are. Remains 
of Epiphone. Yeah, okay. Let's see, detonates an explosive deal, 60% extra damage. Yeah, we should have dropped an RC bomb on her. That will. Let's fire. Yeah, let's just shoot her. She needs some correcting. Aoi Yuki. Ah, she's voiced by Yaoi, huh? Yeah, we're not doing anything to her. We're, we're not doing anything to her. Or maybe we are. Oh, okay, maybe we're, we're actually doing some decent damage to her, I think. To below 200 within two turns, three turns. Hey, hey, that's a really good. That was really good. Also, what just happened? Advantageous strike. The next normal attack deals 30% more damage. All because we did a crit. Oh! What the heck? That was so much damage. Yeah, she's not doing so hot right now. You know, her clothes are all torn up. Let's see. Oh wait, no, their clothes are not torn up. They just have skin windows. Why do you need why do you need thigh windows? I don't understand. What are the what is the tactical purpose of thigh windows? Yu Zong, what the hell? Yeah, Jeff D no scope 360 no scoping. Absolutely. Guess Mendo needs to finish her off. I guess so. Put her out of her misery. Oh, I feel so bad for her. I feel so bad for her. Mendo, kill her already. <laughs> Stop prolonging her suffering. Oh my goodness. Just put her down. What? As expected, attacks at this level won't bring her down. Uh, watch out for her charging attacks. Her attacks are becoming stronger after regeneration. The rate of cell regeneration will gradually weaken if we just stick to the strategy and concentrate our firepower. Shit. Shit. Spill lethal dash. Oh. Oh. She has her psychic awareness again. Oh, shit. That's not good. That's really not good. That's really not good. That's really not good. Really not good, really not good. This took me one hour plus, what? I don't think you're getting out of this easy, what? I 
I'm gonna be fine. 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 Jeffy can't move. Jeffy can't move. Shit. If you're out of taunts, her target priority is always Jeffy. Ah, I see. I see. Always Jeffy, huh? Man, do I have to? <laughs> Man, do I have to pick up Jeff T and run for it? <laughs> oh crap! That's not good. It's not good. It's not good at all. Up. Uh Oh, there goes our turret. Crap. She's not even in the right spot for us. Oh. Instant reset, by the way. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't like this. Smoke grenade, that's stun grenade. Yeah. Crap. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it's no good. This is not fair. This is not fair. Not fair at all. If only I didn't lose my other turret. Ah, uh, if only I didn't lose my other turret. I think I need it. I lost too many turrets. This sucks.
No oh, crap, she's not in position. Um shit. Alright, let's, let's 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 we'll do we'll do this again and we'll be fine. We're not fine. We're not fine. This is not okay. This is not okay. This is it's not okay. This is just it's not okay. It's not. This is not okay. Why are you damaged? Don't tell me I used the wrong save. Uh, crap. This is not good. This is not okay. Maybe we could have just have Jeff D move as far as possible. Hmm. All oh, right, she can move through um, obstacles. Okay, this is kind of bullshit. need more turrets. I might have to restart on, on the next stream with more turrets. This is... what the... This is no good. Does she still have the uh, one damage? Yeah, she still has it. Well, I'll take this time to heal up then.
Treat that turret, yeah. I don't want to lose the turret. Have Mendo get take the hit actually. You can actually have Mendo take the hit. Because he has his obsession ability. He won't die immediately. Red path, you idiot. Oh, sh sh shut, shut up. Shush. I'm, I'm big brained. I have a very big brain. I have a, the biggest, some might even say the biggest brain. goodness <laughs> oh my goodness all right well I'll have her stand over here then Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. We're, we're good. We're fine. Or maybe I should have had her walk into this building instead. Um... What? You know what? Fuck it, I'll take it. I'll take it! She didn't use her special attack this time. I'll take it. Dreamer luck? No, no, this is just skill diff. This is just skill diff. This is just skill diff, my bit, my man. Skill diff. I'm just better, okay? Is this phase one? No, this is phase two. This is phase one. Fuck! Wait, no, she used a taunt already, though. Right? Right? No, this is phase one. I'm fucked.
It's phase one. Yeah, it's phase one. I, I, why? Oh no. This sucks. This sucks. Oh, we can only save one spurt. Turn. Uh, okay. Well, let's go back to that spot, right? Go back here. Take the one damage potion. Have Mendo ready up. I'm gonna get some heals. Try our best to survive. Try our best. Every little bit counts. Oh wait, if she's gonna move over there then this is a bad spot to be um get over here mendo Even Liga buffs, how nice of you. Ah, shit. Everything is fine. Everything's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be alright. Wait, why did you go there? This is a bad spot to be. I fucked up again. 
I fucked up again. I fucked up. Done fucked up again. Well, let's just see what happens. I messed up again. Well, let's just see what happens. Yeah. Not good. Can't make the CM player upbeat just say that this game is too easy. It's... Quiet. Silence. I'm fucked. Yeah. No good. At least she left this turret alone. And we can still hit her, right? She... Wait, she has psychic awareness again? Oh. That's... Kind of messed up. That's so messed up. At least you can use steady shot again. Yeah, we can't S rank this, it's too difficult. Only have one incendiary grenade left. Maybe if we didn't let someone fall in the beginning. This would have been fine. Um, actually, you know what? I actually have an ability, a way to beat her. And S-rank it. Um, if I used my braised pork, but I decided not to. Wow, crits, yeah, I get crits. 
Imagine that. Um... I mean, we just have to get lucky and hope that she doesn't dodge anything. Um... Crap. She's still alive! 38 HP, that's all that she has left. If only she didn't dodge earlier. Can't move. There's only one bush left. Well, let's try to make it count. We'll have Mendo be bait. Still has her psychic awareness. Poor sorry, while she's casting. Maybe we can do that? Invalid target. Oh, did you mean push Jefty? push neither of them. That sucks. You had a big brain moment. I see. A big brain moment, huh? See what this does. Oh no, Jeff D. Oh no, my turret. Oh no, why did he go over there? Why did Liga go over there? This is so annoying. The war is lost. Can't hit her from here. <sighs> I guess we'll just use the turret as bait. Good morning, my sleeping music. Hello there, Rosanary. Also, please don't call me that. I don't like it at all. Please don't call me that. Oh no, poor Jeffy. All right. They're probably going to hurt us again. 
after we kick her ass. They're they're gonna. I did this on standard difficulty because I thought it would be easier for you guys to witness, but we're already getting skill checks. This is bullshit. Congrats, you built the fil- I beat the filter! Yeah! Oh, oh gosh. This thing is not immobilized yet. God damn it, has the Shrike evolved over the years? She's still regenerating, even though she's literally on fire. But her regeneration rate is much slower. The attacks are having an effect. Yeah, we're literally fighting the thing. Um, except it's not the thing from the 80s. It's the thing from the 80s combined with the thing from the original classic. Um, this is... It's... Oh, God. I just used to sleep while ruin, running your video. Yeah, no, I understand, but it, it's a little bit rude to call someone's... <laughs> their sleeping music. I mean, you, you can say you sleep to me, that's fine. In fact, that's kind of nice, but... <laughs> to, to call me sleeping music is a little bit much. But her rege yeah. Jefty, it's probably difficult to successfully subdue her with our current means. We should retreat while she's still regenerating. Not yet. Keep on attacking. Even the regenerate regeneration ability of a Shrike cell has its limits. Yeah, you know, while we're doing this, there's still a bunch of other enemies nearby. There's werewolves up above and more Shrikes to our sides. We are, we are fucked. We may be able to completely immobilize her after a few more bursts. Then we'll have a chance to take Liga with us. Yeah. Oh, is she going to allow that? I don't think so. Miss Puppet's regeneration rate has diminished. Is her body succumbing so quickly? The companions of the fully immune individual aren't that impressive at all. Still, this clash of monsters is absolu absolutely spectacular. First-rate entertainment. Well, this girl is just asking for correction. Sadly, I'm starting to grow tired of it. Time to roll the credits. Let me send you on your way. The enemy forces are incoming. Jefty, cool your head. The three of us can't handle all these enemies on our own. If we get surrounded, we won't make it out alive even if we get your sister. Fuck! Liga's right there in front of me. The enemies are approaching fast. Fight or flight. We run! Do you have an escape route? There's an underground river leading out of the contamination zone behind this mountain. I initially planned to leave from there, but we got ambushed. Now that the ambush has been eliminated, there should be no one stationed there. We can leave the contamination zone through the underground river. Good, let's go. Let's get going. My, I can't read. Ah. Uh, yeah. End of the line, I guess. Trying to leave already? Dream on! Atena, behind you! Oh. Oh, Atena! Is... That... Sugar? Oh, why, if it isn't Atena, did you not go to hell along with your sister? Doesn't matter. I'll reluctantly do you a favor by sending you off to join her. You bitch. Jefty, fall back. Where are we gonna fall back to? <laughs> Oh, I guess we do carry her. What, what, even tear gas isn't enough? They jumped into the underground river. Vice Captain, your orders. Should we pursue? <laughs> These guys don't disappoint. Vice Captain? <laughs> I'm having so much fun. It's been such a long time since I last encountered such inter interesting prey. Leave the rest to Oleg. We're returning to base. 
But we haven't captured... Where's the fun in killing your prey just like that? Don't worry. The one named Jefty was jabbed by my tail. Even a fully immune individual can't recover from my powerful neurotoxin so quickly. Ah, yeah, neurotoxin. War crimes, ahoy. She will definitely be convulsing, foaming at the mouth, and tearing off all of her hair in a while. Don't worry, she won't get very far. Why neurotoxin? In what... What purpose does having a neurotoxin-tipped tail have in, in modern warfare? Update the other teams on our progress. We'll let our great Captain Oleg take the credit for capturing her. Understood. And what should we do about the test subject that came with us? Oh, her. She's still alive even after getting burnt to a crisp. Ew, looks like she looks absolutely disgusting. I don't want to touch her. However, we mustn't lose her. You'll have to figure out how to transport that pile of charred meat back to base. Um, uh, yes, ma'am. Yep, that's Aoyuki. Yeah, that was her. Absolutely. Collapse bombardment and get ready. Storm of fire. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that, that mission took so long. I can see how this game is like over a hundred hours easily. These missions are not easy. No. ヘイキャ。ピエトロコダの訓練は yeah, because last time she saw you die, and this time she's like, I have to save him. You know, this story isn't about Mendo saving Jefty. No, it's the other way around. It's about Jefty saving Mendo. From his own obsessive compulsions. Yeah, it seems Atana knows about sugar. ジェフティを攻撃したのはウェアウルフ隊の副隊長コードネーム yeah, the voice act is really good. ジェフティは、そいつに。いや、きっと大丈夫だ。ジェフティは普通の人間じゃない。君は衛生兵だったんだろう。応急処置はできないのか。神経毒と外傷は全く違う。今は解毒剤がない。医療設備のあるところへ
一体どんな修羅場をくぐり抜けたというの俺もわからない確かなのは共に研究をしていた両親にとても信頼されてただろうってことだ命を救ってくれた恩を返すにせよ両親の意思を継ぐにせよ俺は絶対に彼女を助けなければならない、well, is, uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's... Oh. Pre World <laughs> ジョソブがそれを許すと。目が覚めたの。ジョフティ。大丈夫か今どこにいるの暗渠を伝って汚染エリアの外に出たわ。今は撤退ポイントに向かってる。神経毒にやられたの。すぐに医療設備の整った場
ようとしてくれてちょっと嬉しかった。Oh, there it is, there it is. She's into the goodest boys. You know? When it comes to most damaged girls, you need to be the goodest boy. I'm sure, I mean, the tail is massive. She's, she should have like a massive gaping hole where her, where her abdomen used to be. Oh damn! This is not the time to get. This is not the time to start blushing. Yeah. You know that thing about like biting off your own tongue that they always talk about in fiction and stuff? Yeah, it's kind of a real thing. Um, when you're in a lot of pain, your jaw is going to bite down whether you like it or not. Whether you want to or not. I've actually had to do that myself. Um, I've not had to do a surgical procedure without anesthesia, but there has been a. I, I've I've had I've experienced in actually pretty recent years um, some pain that was really really bad following a surgery where my I couldn't stop biting down. And so I did have to have like something in my mouth, whether it be a piece of wood or or um, a rag, because I was I'm pretty sure if I kept on biting, I was gonna shatter my own teeth. That, that's how bad it was. It's not just bruxism, no. Oh. Cauterize who? I'm gonna cauterize who? Oh. Oh. What happened to you? Um, it's it's the source of my my um what do you call it? My voice debuff. If you don't know, if I'm on on Twitch, I have a tag that says voice debuff. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm currently in a long term period of of uh, semi permanent debuff to my voice and body. Which is why I'm having so much difficulty reading right now. Um, so yeah, I have a I have a really bad voice debuff right now, but hopefully by this time next year everything will be good, and I'll be able to woo you guys as hearts with my eloquent speech, my wonderful pronunciation and intonation, and my amazing singing. <laughs> hopefully by this time next year, that will be what happens. Also, hello there, Li, Li Junming. Hello, hello. It's ruining. Ru it's ruining. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't like this. Yes. What? Mondo. Hotai de kizukuchi o. Yatteru. Kore de toge wa koeta hazu yo. Yeah, and she's now missing a massive chunk of her organs. I mean, you know, these these voice actors these voice actors are all like the cream of the crop, right? 
Um, Mikta did not spare any expense. They hired really good voice actors. Um, you know, I think um, Atna is played by Yui Ishikawa, right? You have uh, Suzaki Aya, or Suzaki, Suzaki Aya? Yeah, Suzaki Aya's on doing Jeff T. And Mendo's a relative newcomer, but he's he's really good, damn good too. Right? Whoever directed them did a good job. Yeah. Love and hope. Yui Ishikawa? Yeah, Yui Ishikawa. Oh, Mika got Kiefer Sutherland to voice in the game too. Uh, I don't think they're that crazy. Like, Yudong might be, might love, um, you know, to uh, uh, crap, what was his? Um, I'm forgetting his name, Kojima, he might love Kojima's works, he might fashion himself as a Chinese Kojima, but he's not in love with Hollywood. 15 minutes, yeah, only 15 minutes later. <laughs> Minor spelling mistake. Mm. Yeah, I mean, talk about having experience with surgery like what? I mean... Uh, I told you, I, if you saw my Twitter post a while back ago, I've had six surgeries. <laughs> Actually, I've had more than six surgeries, but like six are like the the bigger ones. Um, it's two words I never thought I'd hear from you. Yeah, I, I, that's just, it's just how it is, you know? Um, <laughs> it's just, it's just how it is. I am no stranger to pain. Oh, she can talk normally now. It's only been 15 minutes. Is the Canadian free healthcare paid at all? Not all of it. Some of it was paid for, some of it was not. Canadian healthcare system only really does it if you are going to die immediately and need uh, need the procedure done. A lot of things that are life-saving are not considered uh, life-saving. <laughs> if something kills you slowly, then then the Canadian government will not pay for it. Hakuya breaks a lot. Um, it's not that I break a lot, it was that I was put together wrong. You know, um, Papa Yatano and Mama Yatano, they, they, uh, they did not know how to read the instructions to put me together. <laughs> they also did not read the instructions on, on child maintenance. Um, I'll leave it at that. あの、シュガーってやつ。知り合いなの。何度も交戦したことがある。因縁があるようだね。私にも妹がいた。Oh. You too? アテナさんも本物のお姉さんだ。まさか、シュガーに。そう。yeah, Sugar killed her little sister. あいつのせいで。あいつだけは絶対に。そして今、あなたの妹まで<笑> That's a good joke. Yeah, 
Wow. <laughs> you can hear like the care and desperation in his voice. He really loves Jeff T. I thought for sure that, you know, this is the end of chapter 2. I thought everyone would die here. But it seems we're not so lucky. We're not starting a new loop, not yet. You're still trying to do that? You want to infiltrate their base? With the half of your internal organs missing? This girl is insane. リゲルも大きなダメージを受けた。今はきっと基地の中にいるはず。せっかくのチャンスを無視させるために手術したんじゃない。あなたはもう限界なのよ。自分のことはちゃんと分かってるつもり。そんな体で妹さんに勝てる
and my brain would explode. <laughs> There's so much going on. His dad does look like his dad does not look like Gendo, okay? Gendo's a giga nerd. His dad was like a, a Mendo's dad was a oh a Chad with romantic genes. Yeah, Atena's really turned around. <laughs> this is someone who'd rather chop off a part of her own body than give up. How do you think she'll you'll convince her? もんど。私はもう決めたの。力を貸して。分かったよ。ただし。途中で何か異常があったらすぐに止まる。うん。でも私は大丈夫。あれは嘘なんだよ。嘘だ。嘘なんだよ。出発前に服を着替えないと。今
来週のスケジュールはまだアッ,プアップロードしてないけどまあ明日は休みし休みにします Uh, thank you everyone for coming again today.、Um, we've done a, quite a lot.、Um, lot. Some more shocking surprises. You know, we learned about Atena. We learned a little bit more about Jefty and even Mendo. And we got introduced to uh, uh, Sugar. Crazy bitch. <laughs> and I thought I, would, I could beat. I thought I could beat. This stage easy. I, you know, I thought I was really smart and then it turned out no, I'm, I'm getting my ass whooped. <laughs> oh, goodness. Reviews. Not enough content for a $20 game. Meanwhile, Hawk. This game is very long! Holy! Ah, <laughs>、uh, yeah.、Um, before I go, though, I'm gonna drop my Discord link. If you would like to join my Discord. Uh, you may do so. I don't usually put it up, but、I've, I'm starting to feel like I should probably put it somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, here's my Discord link.、Um, if you would like to join, and you know, we do like talking about the Mikaverse in there. <laughs> I do like talking about Mika games, if you'd ever like to talk about that or anything else, anyway.、Uh, but, anyways, thanks for coming today.、Uh, I'm probably going to rest tomorrow. I might play a little bit of. I don't know, Helldivers on Twitch or something as a gorilla, but for the most part, I'm gonna take it easy. <laughs> Anyways, once again, thank you for coming and good night. Otsu Haku deshita, Otsu Raven, Otsu Jefty, Otsu Sugar, Otsu Atena, Otsu Liga. Hi, Oyasumi. Bye bye.